And greetings, helps when my microphone is not muted. I am Resplendent Seraph, and I'm going to be playing some more Fallout today. Greetings, everybody, from another absolutely beautiful, if hot, South Florida day. And uh, happy Mother's Day to everybody out there. Um, eh, let's see. Well, while, while we get kind of started here, we're going to be playing Fallout 4 tonight. It's my usual kind of custom to stream at the very end of the weekend, just kind of chillax, uh, put a nice little exclamation point on another excellent weekend that is indeed in the books. And uh, this particular episode of Fallout is going to be with a bunch of mods that I deem more lore friendly than most, actually. Um, so I need to get to that. But on my YouTube channel, we fielded yet another question on um, the... There's a buggy quest after the point that we're going to be playing now, but it, for whatever reason, that particular quest must be buggy for a lot of people because I've, I've fielded a number of questions of like, hey, Sarah, if I've run into this issue here, how do I fix that? So I'm going to, this, this one's a new one in a way that it broke. So I'm like, uh, actually, I'm not really sure, but I've, I've got a couple of ideas that I'll, that I'll float to him or her, and uh, hopefully that'll be helpful. I do like being helpful to uh, people that do approach um, with various technical issues, and it just so happens I played this game a lot, so I've actually seen a lot of the technical issues. Uh, it just so happens that this particular one I haven't, but but I actually have seen a, a fair number. And I'm like, okay, actually, I've got a pretty good idea. This is something I dealt with and such and such might be a good solution. I don't know if it'll work for you because you never know if it's going to work for somebody, but it's at least an idea that they can try. And so unfortunately, <laughs> it doesn't have the reputation of being the most stable game, but it is a great game. I constantly have conversations of, of people and I, I have to... Even even I have to admit that New Vegas is objectively the quote unquote superior game, but I have so much more fun with Fallout 4. And so we're going to play again and uh, we're going to have a good time. And like I said, the mod collection for this tends to be a little lore friendly. Also, for everybody tuning in, I have made a slight change to the ad schedule, <laughs> uh, barring uh, uh, after uh, considering feedback. I also didn't realize I could lower the amount that's played per hour. So I drastically cut that back because it's not super fun to just listen to a bunch of ads all back to back to back to back to back. But they do help make Twitch function and help. Uh, and I do like to support the platform I'm streaming on. I'm grateful for the Twitch platform to give me this this voice. Otherwise, I'd have to set up my own web server and figure out how to do it on my own and YouTube has not exactly been the greatest experience with live content. Now YouTube is great for posting content after the fact. So that's why I stream live on Twitch and then I post it on YouTube. Anyway, we go. So I think that's uh, okay. So brief, 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 brief recap for how we started. We are playing, uh, we're doing a playthrough that I didn't get to finish last time. So we're going back to that and essentially we're playing a character who was a lawyer in the pre-war environment. She worked with the military briefly. So uh, I envision her as being more of like a JAG officer with the JAG JAG of General's office. And that would explain the legal background. And then when she went into the civilian sector, got her uh, JD, ended up doing that. And so, yes, yeah, she's a lawyer, but she also does have some weapons training. So she's not a complete novice at it, but very rusty. And we're still getting very used to surviving in the wasteland we're very fragile we don't have a lot of supplies and so anyway how we advanced 200 years we ended up going into a vault it was a cryo vault and so we were in suspended animation for 210 years and we've emerged and long story short we're trying to find our son who was kidnapped by a man and two uh at least one other i think all one other but maybe two other uh almost scientist looking people in biohazard suits and we're trying to track them down and when we got out of the vault they just their the trail was already cold and we, we really couldn't figure out which way they went but they may have gone left where we went right and that may have been just like we just chose poorly when we exited the vault and we just didn't know which way to go to find them and so now we're going to be approaching this playthrough in the mindset of a lawyer who has some firearms training and how she would go about trying to find her son in a world that she no longer recognizes and is no longer familiar to her. There are things like ghouls, which are irradiated people that are very dangerous. We passed by a bunch of super mutants. They looked dangerous as hell, and they would have. They would have, like, basically one-shot us. But thankfully, we just went into stealth mode and we avoided them. 
And so now we're going to be dealing with some early on quests as we build some XP, get some levels, try to be less fragile, but also find our footing in this new world and figure out how we're going to find our infant son without any real leads. Hey, Deep Fry, we missed you yesterday. We did, uh, so while we fire up this game, um, we ended up getting the carrot cake uh, on Earthbound yesterday, and we did indeed go to the cow and give the cow the uh, carrot key, and that was, everybody got a good laugh out of that. We were all, we were all really entertained. So thank you for giving us uh, that that lead because i would never have thought to try that uh even somebody else in chat that really knew the game is like yeah i've never seen that before so that was neat and it was fun how's your weekend going good to see you as always so definitely so as soon as i saw you i immediately had to thank you for that <laughs> let's get uh let's get fallout fired up here and started and away we go i did install two new mods but because of my needy cat, I haven't had a chance to test them to make sure that they work. So hopefully they're good. <laughs> oh, excellent. Well, congratulations. Buying a house is indeed fun and time extensive. Very, very, very time consuming. Uh, good. Okay. And they are indeed playing through my headphones. Sorry, I had to take them off just to make like, are they playing through my headphones? Or are they playing through that? Good. So we're good here. And those levels look good. They hopefully are not too high, but they're looking good. Perfect. So uh, busy buying a house yesterday, implying that you spent all that time actually uh, closing on it and doing all that. Or did you just get the process started? Because when I bought a house, it took like a month to, to get everything done. It was a, uh, it was an experience. It was, it was definitely an experience. I'm glad I did it. And I bought at just the right time. I bought before all the housing prices shot through the roof and before the mortgage rates all went up. Of course, I also bought this place thinking I was going to be on two incomes instead of one, but I ended up moving in here on, on, uh, on my own some. <laughs> so uh yeah that was that was a that was an adventure but a completely different adventure that was a relationship adventure but i wish you luck on that endeavor all right so we're in stealth okay so we're sneaking around okay and we'll find out whether okay good yeah it, you know what that works that... oh that's codsworth okay i heard a sound behind me i went oh shit <laughs> uh, all right, so good. That mod is working. That's a much better looking moon. Okay, so we need to go east and we're going to try, 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 try not to get killed by a bunch of exploding moles, which like to spawn here. That is not a mole, right? Or is it? Nope, that's a mole. There it is. That's one. More? I think that's it. I think that's it. Of course, it's a little dark out here. Good. I don't see any more moles. Because, yeah, those get near you, and they explode, and you die. And that's just like, that's all she wrote. <laughs> uh, we just don't have enough hit points to survive an explosion from one of those little bastards. And so... Cool. Okay, it looks like we managed to get through that and not die. Sweet. Uh, that's not the right answer. Oops, that's not the right one. I'm looking through that. Yep. That's the button in Cyberpunk, not in this game. <laughs> Although I haven't played Cyberpunk in a while, but you still get some muscle memory from other games so uh, every so often. Yeah. Pick up. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, wild corn. We'll pass on the wild corn. Oh. Yeah, we'll just... Let's not mess around. Let's just use that. Perfect. Excellent. Got another. And we got one more. Right there. Perfect. Oh, we got one more. 
Mm. Takes care of that. Of course, we don't exactly have a lot of ammunition, but we'll, you know, we'll just make do with our limited resources. At some point, we're going to need to get better ammunition, or I need to pick up a gun that um, we can just use with some of the other ammo types that we have. Closing next week, so it was uh, it was lawyer yesterday. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay, so this is the outpost that Preston sent us to. We'll holster our weapon. And just holding down the reload button holsters your weapon for anybody new playing this game. That's a nice little tip. What do you want? We don't need any more trouble around here. Uh, do you always point a gun at everyone you meet? Didn't you ask the Minutemen for Yeah, we'll do that one. Didn't you ask the Minutemen for help? You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still existed. We sent word with one of them passing traitors, but honestly, I never expected anything to come of it. Most people don't put much stock in the Minutemen these days after Quincy. Bad business, that. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear it. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks. Stealing food and supplies, threatening to kill us all if we don't pony up. We know where they're coming from, but we can't go up against a gang like that. I'll take care of them. Thanks, friend. If you folks are for real this time, it'll be a welcome change for the better. That is brutal, man, when your uh, power cuts out when you're about to do something awesome. Ugh, that, that totally sucks. All right, so I've got a couple of choices here. So we have to, yep, good, okay, it's Corvega. Most of the time, this quest sends us to Corvega, but not always. So yes, we are indeed going to be going to Corvega here. No surprise that. But I do have a couple of choices. I could go back here, get that quest. You know what? And I think that's the way we'll do this. I think we're going to go back this way to the Abernathy farm. I think that's the right way to do this. Let's do that. Let's try to do that. Because we can then go to... Um, We'll do the quick quest at the diner because there'll be a couple of charisma checks. We should be able to make those checks. Uh, went through five stages of grief in 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, I hear you, man. I uh, I hear you. That is that is brutal. Oh, oh. Uncharted is a great game, too. Uh, I, I had a great time with those. I don't really remember much of them. So I, I think I only played each one twice or each one once. But, um, but I really should go back and play it, replay those. Oh, yeah, I keep hitting the wrong button. I need to get used to that and not do that in the future. Good, okay, yep. Good, that mod did indeed work correctly. I uh, I changed the sky. I just didn't check to make sure it loaded right. I, did, <laughs> I was going to do that today, but then my cat, Cleo, needed some pets and play, and I couldn't, I just... I, can't say no to the cat. Um, <laughs> I think any cat owner will tell you uh, the difference between dog owners and cat owners is uh, dog owners own dogs. Cat owners are adopted by their cats. Uh, oh, I must have already grabbed it. Cool. Is there anything else useful by this crash site? I don't think so. Let's turn this on. Get some little light. There we go. Oh shit. Okay, it's just a rad stag doe. No, dog meat, you can you can let the deer go. It's just a mutated deer. Uh, Alright, well I don't actually. I do have a fusion core. I could take this suit. You know what? Let's do it. Got a minimum fuel charge, but let's do it. Just in case. I never leave a task unfinished. Well, since you I'll killed it. You Not in words, but wouldn't want to leave the good stuff. Jeez, guys. <laughs> oh well my my robot butler <laughs> but that is that is brutal man to get 92 percent of the way there and have the power cut out oh that that really sucks oof i think anybody going for any kind of speed run or a challenge and you're really close to it and a power outage kind of you know screws you over 
any gamer can relate to the, oh, that sucks so much. Hey, Zoltoid, what do we think about that? Oh, so lame. <laughs> And of course, now I have channel points. So uh, if anybody wants to have control over the soundboard, you can now also play the Ziltoid sound effect. If you have uh, enough channel points for that, you'll eventually get them. <laughs> they accrue pretty quick in my in my experience. Make sure nobody else is showing up here. Man, this is a pretty crazy fog. I think I'm probably better off going this way. Hey, Darkstar, what's going on? Oh, hey, Darkstar, what's Jesus. going on? Damn it, is it already going back to the point where it's not doing the whole... Uh... Did everybody hear that, or am I the only one that didn't hear that? Hopefully, you guys heard that. I did not hear... That's what she said. So maybe I have to go back in there and tinker with a setting. As long as you guys heard it, it's fine. <laughs> Where am I? Yep, good. I'm in the right spot. I heard it, but it was quick as fuck. Okay. As long as you heard it. So maybe I missed it. I could have missed it because I was talking instead. But as long as it worked, that's the important part. Red rocket. At this point, I can shoulder it. Come yeah, on. Yeah, every so often it does hiccup a little bit in certain spots. But I have a I have a solution to that. <laughs> I do have a solution to that. Oh my goodness gracious! Let's. run over this rickety ass bridge we'll drop off a lot of the salvage oh we might even just sleep so we're not rummaging rummaging around in the middle of the fucking night in the dark in this stupid ass fog hey nice Sturgis with those defenses. I've got nothing else I need right now I think Preston may want to chat though he probably does. You'll find what you're looking for. I know it. <laughs> Volume was it a bit low? Uh, yeah, it's probably just a matter of testing and monitoring in, in post team. So a lot of those I can't really. Um, it's hard to test them offline. This is why it's good to have them have you guys also tell me. Uh, so this is extremely valuable feedback for me while I kind of tinker with it. I appreciate the help. Let's, yeah, let's, let's see. Sleep for eight hours. Yeah, good eight hours sleep. We'll do that. Yeah, I think so. I think it's just a matter of testing and, and time. All right. Here we go. Now we can actually see. My rickety ass house. Is there anything in here I really want to mess with? I don't think so. So let's take a look here. Uh, the pipe pistol I may want to keep just because I'm going to need. Oh, oh fuck. All right. No, we don't need to carry that minigun. I'd rather have the weight of that back. We can. A lot of this actually will probably put. Okay, so we can take that because now it's not in there. Pre-war money is going to now be in here. Perfect, good. I can see clearly now the walls are gone. <laughs> I can see all the Marlarks on their way. <laughs> it's like, no, no, no. Turn the fog back on. Turn the fog back on. <laughs> uh, so we already got the per perception bobblehead, the, your special book. All right, perfect. Let's head up the... Everything's still pretty fucked up out here. Over here. Store all the junk in here. Yeah, we'll put Brahmin meat, Radstag meat, Bloodly. 
put all the carrot flowers in there, the hub flower, brain fungus, glowing fungus. Oh yeah, all this shit. I think we're also to the point where armor, let's check. Nothing else here is new. Good. Okay. What we can do, let's just check the armor workbench. And let's scrap this because we'll get at least one cloth out of it. Uh, to be to be fair, Boston was already fucked up before the bottom shot, right? <laughs> oh man. <laughs> true. Very true. Alright, so we could ooh, we could put some boiled leather on this and boost. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. And can't do anything else with this, although we could do a lighter build, but I don't think that's worth us messing with because nothing here, a lot of this we're probably not going to mess with. But we did add gun nut, I believe, so let's take a look and see what we can do with this. Frame receiver. I can do this, I just don't have the oil for it. Ooh, this will be good once we get a little more oil and we get some aluminum. That would be good. Perfect. Okay. Um, excellent. Excellent. Good, 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 good. If you ever find yourself in a position where you drive through Boston city limits, rethink what choices you made that got you there. <laughs> so I have not myself driven through Boston, but I have been a passenger in a car with somebody who drove through Boston and Dark Star is very right. Now, I, I mean, I mean, it sounds like we're talking shit, and, and we kind of are, but also there are no lies. <laughs> so there's that. Uh, oh, you know what? Let's at least see. You know what? Yeah, let's at least do the little better ammo capacity. Yeah, let's at least do the large magazine. Sure. Because we already equipped that. And you know what? Yeah, we'll do a compensator. That way we have a little less recoil. Can't really do much about any of the other stuff. That's okay. Well, may as well, we may as well keep this pipe rifle just in case we want to, you know, take engage in a longer firefight with things that are far away with 38 ammo we have. Although at this point, I probably don't need a pistol and a rifle. Yeah, I'll just scrape the, scrap the pipe pistol and we'll take the four. We'll take the four uh, steel on that. Yeah, there are more merges than turns. It's crazy. It is crazy. Now, I think part of that is... Again, you're dealing with a really old city where some of the stuff was not necessarily as well planned out as it should have been. Oh, you know what? Actually, we can give Mama Murphy some chems because I think we've picked up some, although I don't see her. We'll take three more money <laughs> out of the mailbox. Sure. Well, I lost track of where she was. Fuck it. We'll go this way. It is a really neat. It is a really neat city to visit, though. I highly recommend. Uh, if you haven't gone to Boston, I do recommend visiting it. And granted, there'll be some tie-ins to this game. The Freedom Trail was amazing to go through. I really, really, really enjoyed that. The USS Constitution, in my view, is an absolutely essential kind of touristy thing to go check out. Uh, for anybody that doesn't know, the USS Constitution is a commissioned, until still to this day, a commissioned military vessel that is technically in active service, but it comes from the age of sail and all that. Um, it was the uh, class of ship that became old Ironsides, so they used uh, live oak to uh, build it, and cannonballs would just bounce off of it, which in the day was crazy. <laughs> Uh, imagine getting a direct hit on something with a missile, for example, and it doesn't explode. And for the most part, the British were just like, what the, what the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, it also went faster than any other ship in the era because of uh, various technological features of the hull. It had um, this type of water resistance lessening grooves in it that allowed it to go faster. I mean, there were all sorts of really technical innovations with it. It's just a really neat piece of history to visit if you ever have the chance to go. I, I cannot, cannot in, um, advocate enough to go check that out if you're ever in Boston. It's awesome. All right, where is old Abernathy? Is he behind here? 
Do I have to turn it on? Yeah, he's over here. Hey, Blake. I got your uh, locket. Yo. I've got that locket back for you. You serious? That's great news. Connie's gonna be speechless. I'm sure she'll go lean on her prices after what you've done. And feel free to use our workshop. Please. There we go. And that's why I did this, so that we could uh, get the level. I mean, we were already here. It was somewhat close enough. Uh, yeah, and the uh, the real one doesn't fly. <laughs> the real one, uh, the real one does not fly. <laughs> Uh, granted, it's, a, it's like a little, little, little bit of a, uh, of a, of a, um, <laughs> foreshadowing of, uh, of things to come, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, the constitution appears in this game and it has some, uh, differences to the real life version <laughs> yet. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you guys are going to go on an ad break in a second. I'm just going to build some stuff here and I'll, I'll see you guys in a second. For, uh, for those of you uh, that are going to see that in just a moment, I have adjusted it so that it does not play for three minutes any longer. <laughs> so let's see. While they're on break, because everybody in YouTube land is going to see this without those commercials. So I'm just looking to figure out what I might do. And I don't think I'm going to be able to build a turret. Yep, I'm down circuitry. Okay, but we have oil, actually. That's kind of amazing. Let's go in here and let's try and scrap some things. Oh, it's playing the, uh, it is playing. Okay, it is playing an ad and it's gonna play for a minute. Okay, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. I thought I changed it to 30 seconds, but guess not. Or maybe it is, I don't know. But this works, because while that ad is playing, I'm just going to scrap some things. This is normally pretty dull anyway. Mm, keep that foot longer. But we'll scrap those. Let's see. What I do want to do, if I can, is to find... Well, someone will just find junk just to declutter the place. I don't like clutter. Just kind of like my thing. I uh, can't highlight just that box okay bitch you're going to let me select you come on nope it's really not damn let me see can i just grab this box nope won't let me grab the box all right fine that box is gonna stay it looks like <laughs> all right welcome back everybody i'm just trying to fiddle with some shit here uh obviously i have toned down the uh, ad length a little bit, so it's not as uh, obnoxious. I actually didn't realize I had more uh, more control over that than I thought I did, so I can actually reduce a lot of the um, duration of uh, of that. So I uh, I naturally did that as soon as I realized I had that option. Uh, I don't see any other oil. That's kind of what I'm looking for. I'm actually looking for circuitry. I would like to find. I may not have it, but in a perfect world, what I would do is I would find some, um, like a hot plate or something. That would be good. Uh, can you grab something and push the box out? Yeah, I, yeah, that's a good question. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see if there's anything up here useful. And then we're going, we're going to try that suggestion. Let us find out. Uh, grab that shovel. Okay. So in a perfect, yeah, I'm gonna grab that box and try to push the box with the other box. <laughs> oh, thank God, we have 10 millimeter ammo. We needed that bad. All right. So let's. Oh, I can't even grab this box. Shit. All right. It's not gonna let me grab that, but it'll let me grab. Yep. It lets me grab this. Yep, it lets me grab that. It just won't let me grab the box. Well, shit. Okay, so it's just not going to let me grab that box. I guess that box is going to stay. 
That's fine. It's fine. Fucking fine. I mean, I could scrap the whole thing. I could just scrap the rug and it will probably, you know what? Let's just scrap the rug. Ah, oh. okay. But now I could select box. Fine. The rug is gone. Now I can select box. Okay. That's, that's what it is. Scrap these center blocks. Now we'll leave that. But I still can't build a turret because nothing in here had circuitry. So at some point, we're just going to have to come back here after we salvage a little bit more. It is what it is. Okay. <laughs> the rug brought the whole room together. Yes. So let's head back into Concord. We'll go a little south. We'll go to Trudy's Diner. We'll solve the issue that's going to be there. It was possibly load-bearing too. <laughs> and in this game, rugs actually can be load-bearing. I, uh, I have used that as a trick in settlement building. Um, in particular, the Egret Tours Marina. What I'll do is I'll lay down rugs and it will cover up holes in the floor and then I could build on those and of course walk across them. Which is indeed very, very funny. So uh, yeah, yeah, we get some interesting physics for this. Oh, look at that circuitry. Just what I was looking for. Of course, I've gone too far to go back now. We're not we're not going back to Abernathy Farm. Let's see. Is there anything else? Now, there is a there are a couple of things to do here. You know what? Why don't for the sake of for the sake of being thorough. Oh, shit. Fucking raiders already back. Damn it. Good boy, dog meat. Oh, shit. I think I hit dog meat there by accident. Not mean to hit dog meat. Okay, so a couple of raiders came back. That sucked. That sucked a lot. Uh, all right. So this becomes interesting in a second. So this is like a uh, uranium pump, <laughs> like a uranium well. It will pump uh, uranium up into this building. We can't go into this building. It's all bat battered up, but what we can do. Oh, well, actually, first things first, let's level up. And yep, let's do Gunslinger again, because we want more damage. Um, so I I do like energy weapons, but in um for the most part, the problem with energy weapons is when you use them, the enemy will immediately know where you are. Because and and it goes both ways. Like when enemies use energy weapons against me, I could see the beam and I'm like, ah, they're right there. Uh, and I think it works in reverse, too. If you use an energy weapon, it's much easier for the enemies to find you. Whereas um, with ballistics, it's a little easier to hide a little bit, and it, it takes them a little bit longer to figure out where the bullets are coming from. Um, so I prefer ballistic weapons, but I mean, I like energy weapons just fine. It also depends on the energy weapon. One of my favorite weapons in the game is, uh, true, ballistics are louder, but with acoustics, sometimes they can't figure out where the sound's coming from because it's bouncing. Yeah, it's exactly. It is a trade-off. Uh, it is absolutely a trade-off. Um, but I do I do slightly favor uh, ballistics in this game. Um, but um, my favorite weapon in the game is the Gatling laser. So, I mean, that is an energy weapon. But by and large, as far as categories go, I kind of prefer the... Um, I do kind of prefer ballistics. But the nice part about the Gatling laser is it is. You know, I'm looking for something. Oh, yeah, we'll take that. OK. Let's take a look. Yep. The death claw frame came from down here. So let's let's cruise down here. Let's go investigate a little bit. Let's go through that man. That storm sounds awesome. <laughs> Yeah, one is not objectively better than the other. If uh, if someone prefers energy weapons, that is a very, very legitimate choice for, for various reasons, um, because there are certainly trade-offs involved. Good afternoon, and my, and at least in my opinion, one is not objectively better than the other. Uh, one set turns enemies into piles of goo and ash, and the other just creates bodies that you have to walk around. <laughs> I mean, true. Very true. All right, so we got, so we got a dead Mirelurk. So now we know there are Mirelurks in here. We'll take the, actually, you know what? We'll take that Brahmin meat too. I will take that. I don't think, um, you know what? Yeah, let's take the better, 
we'll take the better pipe rifle there. So here's more of this municipal plutonium well. Ah, right, it's a plutonium well. And we see part of it running through here. We were just kind of up above. And so we saw a piece of that up on the surface. So now let's cruise through here. The problem is, especially I'm getting to a point where I'm going to have a lot more shit. Do I just grab this cement? You know what? We're going to grab that cement. And we are going to grab that Abraxo cleaner. Hell yeah, we are. This is just a cave in. And so for uh, anybody that may not have also have known, let's uh, do that. Nope. Weapons. Weapons. Rifle. Oh, but uh, each of the lunchbox have a little face drawn inside them. Uh, may not may not know that little detail. It's kind of cool and neat, but overall not not crazy. Uh, so we'll take that. We'll take the economy wonder glue. And if you guys can get out of the way, that'd be great. Okay, at this point, let's turn off the flashlight that identifies us. Okay, we're gonna go this way. A little bit more, and we unlocked it. I choose the easier to clean option. True. You don't even have to do maintenance on an energy weapon. You don't have to take it apart. You don't have to clean it. Very, very true. I mean, so if Fallout was real, I think I would prefer a laser pistol just because, I mean, come on, laser pistol. Hello. <laughs> oh, I was still talking about. <laughs> yes, true. Very, very true. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we'll take these. Normally, once we get later in the game, I don't bother picking up very heavy things. But especially at this stage of the game, where we really don't have a lot of salvage. Yep, dog meets growling because he hears enemies. Um, something's afoot. It burrowed. It'll come up in a second. <laughs> okay, that's the end of those guys. We'll take that. We've got plenty of mole rat meat at this point. Yeah, there is nothing, nothing more satisfying than going through, hitting something with a laser weapon, and they just disintegrate, or a plasma weapon, and they just disintegrate into a pile of ash. It is pretty awesome. I can't get in there, right? Okay, no. good. I saw that little hole, and I'm like, I think that's just for the mole rats to come out of. I don't think I can get out of that. There. Mom, judging by my navigational sensors, we're now directly beneath Concord. That's pretty neat. I've never heard him say that dialogue. That was really cool. Okay, let's go investigate this just to see what's up here. I think it's just an exit. It is. It's just an exit. Yeah, and some very contaminated water that we do not want to drink out of. But theoretically, we could have come down from that area. But at that point, the other door is barred and we wouldn't have been able to go through that. So we came in through an area where we could kind of get to some extra stuff. Sorry, we don't need potato crisps. Let us proceed. Now there's another. Hey, Cleo. Hi, Cleo. Cleo just joined me. Good girl. I love you, cat. What are you doing, cat? You didn't bring me a present, did you? No? Okay, good. <laughs> she started sniffing the ground, and I'm like, oh, God, did she bring something up and then just drop it on the ground up here? Not that she's ever done that. Meyer lurks. Oh, fuck Christ. I hate Meyer lurks so much. Oh, shit. Good. I hit it in its head. Oh, we got it to run. Sweet. Good Codsworth. Yep. Shit. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> I've, I'm, I'm surprised it ran, to be honest. All right, we got a two Molotov cocktails. So we had a couple of choices here. Did not throw that far enough to get to. Damn, Meyer lurk. Shit. All right, we got a choice here. We're gonna we're gonna play with fire here. Feel free to give up at any time. 
Okay, we got it. <laughs> okay. Uh, nope, she's just here to steal your water. <laughs> it's like you know my cat. <laughs> nope, she's playing with her mouse. Oh, you find a toy kitty kitty. Oh, you got your mouse. <laughs> she loves that mouse. It squeaks like a real mouse would. She definitely has some fun with that. All right, so the my alert came from down here. Now we could turn on the flashlight. We could look around a little bit. So we'll definitely take that fusion core. Um, no, dog meat. Ugh. No, dog meat. Thank you. <laughs> Got some jet. Do you have a hot plate? Uh, you know what? I will take that because those are mods I can then switch out. And then, of course, taboo tattoos Excellent. right here. That permanently unlocks a new fa unique facial tattoo. We'll take mentats. Take a tin can. Take some more scrap. Yeah, we'll take the aluminum. And what we'll probably do is we'll just go back to Sanctuary. Because we're picking up a decent amount of salvage. And we're going to need... You know what? We'll even take that raider right arm. Because what we'll do... And so uh, what's interesting here is we got a raider. And here's the plutonium well. And here's all the contaminated water. So that's why everything in here is fucking mutated as all hell. Nothing else here of really of any use, but we'll take the jet. Uh, but the implication, just look, reading between the lines, uh, this dude was probably trying to siphon off some of the plutonium leaking from the well and just died here. So it is interesting if, you, if you're if you perceptive enough, um, and also, you know, kind of stop the smell of roses type, you can uh, see a lot of interesting stories in this game just by the environment that would be very easy to miss if you're just kind of treating it like a um, a run and gun shooter like I don't think uh, I don't think this game is at its best when you're just kind of running and shooting and uh, not paying attention to everything yeah. got it my cat is a happy camper <laughs> I see the uh the mic isn't picking it up, but yeah, she's she's totally going to town on her mouse. Good. Let her let her tuck her tuck her herself out with that. Cruise over here, and we'll exit over here because I think there's still some stuff over here on this exit. Why I don't need the flashlight. Oh, fuck. Just when I was saying I don't think there's anything else over here, and then I immediately run into a rad roach. I jinxed it. We'll take the toy alien. Yep. Take the flip lighter. Like oh. to get the oil. Apparently there was more than that, but dog meat took care of it. Good job. This is why I come around with companions. They watch my back. <laughs> oh, you do hear the squeaks? That's awesome. Oh, and there's another one. Okay, but Codsworth took care of them all. <laughs> Yeah, she is a happy cat. Oh, take the bobby pins. She's also a good cat. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a Discord, and uh, so I post it up there. They're gonna put enough time in Fallout 4 to actually know what sounds don't belong, right? Right. <laughs> Squeaks, both of cat toy and rad roaches. <laughs> right, right. They all blend together. <laughs> Let's see. How are we doing weight-wise? Uh, we're doing okay weight-wise, but since we're already kind of scavenge, scavenging, so we could have gone down to the Concord Civic Access. But since we're here and we're in Concord, let's scavenge a little bit over here. Is that a gunshot? No, I don't think so. I think it's just the sound of the rain. All right, but let's go over here and let's see what else we may have been able to uh, scavenge here. I don't think taking any of these is worth our time. But we could pick up the rubber. We're going to need that. I think it picked up everything that's light over here. Stairs. Uh, and there's the uh, there's the workhouse. And then there's also uh, another area that we can uh, kind of check out. So there's nothing else here. There's our death claw. Right. We want to take the death claw meat associated with it. Yeah. She'll holster our weapon. There's nothing to be worried about 
here. Let's go into, yep, the speakeasy. <laughs> that is funny. All right, so this has turned into a, uh, you know what, sure, I'll take a green dress just so I have stuff. Ah, uh, there we go, the camera. Do a quick salvaging run before making our way over to your bottle. We definitely want glass. I thought I had a couple cans. Wait, is there something below? Have I never gone below? No, I must have gone below. Yeah, I've gone below. But say, is there something I haven't done? Nope. Used oil can. deal take all this we'll take the straw pillow normally i don't take everything that's not bolted down <laughs> like my dnd &D players whenever i've run any kind of dnd &D game where they li literally they that's this is the shit they do right actually i had one dungeon that was haunted by a ghost and they really hated that ghost pick this. Fuck, right i need to gain another level before i can pick that that'll probably be the next thing i do because there are a lot of locks to pick in this game. That's down. Um, but yeah, they will they will sometimes just take everything. It's like, is it bolted down? No, I'm like the chairs, the tables, everything. <laughs> like, you realize that's gonna take weeks. And their logistics evolved. They're like, oh, ain't no problem. We'll rent a we'll rent a uh, we'll rent a cart. We'll hire a merchant to come over and help us pick up all this stuff. <laughs> Dude sleeping with a mannequin. <laughs> yeah, this is one of the more interesting scenes. A bunch of mannequins with you know machetes and plunger around a skeleton. I'll take the skull. Who will take the skull though? Moving on around. Won't be able to pick this. Hit that door. Yeah, there's a reason why I don't always come here initially. Just because there are a lot of um, doors I can't open. So you know what? Same with the workhouse. There's a safe in there that I can't pick yet. Because, ah, uh, oh, hello there, Freakbot. Greetings, my friend. And how are you? This point. Yeah, we're almost at our full weight capacity. Granted, I could offload some of that weight to, uh, one can never have enough dwarven or elven artifacts for decoration at home and home loot everything. Right, right, right. <laughs> oh, and boy, they did. So yeah, that one, uh, that one dungeon I was talking about that was haunted, they really hated the dude. So in revenge, they took everything. In that case, they took everything. The chairs, the furniture, everything. And then, ah, up in Port St. Lucie, greetings. <laughs> Heading back tomorrow, then I take it. Let's see, is this, nope, it's still here. Nothing else in here. And uh, then they proceeded to do tours to the abandoned haunted dungeon where tourists could make fun of the ghost. <laughs> I shit you not. I was like, wow, that's a new level of spite. <laughs> so yes, we're obviously playing Fallout here. We're just getting started. Let's see, do I want to take anything from there? I don't think so. Let's just go back. We'll dump all this shit into the workbench, and then we'll proceed on to Trudy's bar. And fortunately, this spot will just hiccup a little bit. So I've ordered a, uh, I've ordered an SSD to use as my new storage because this drive is obviously just a little too slow. Uh, and I'm just going to clone the drive rather than installing and reinstalling the game again because I really don't want to do that. <laughs> like, been there, done that. Let's, let's not do that again. I just got this up and running. I really don't want to do that. store all that junk and did i just hear 
Actually, we'll tinker. We'll tinker with the right with the gun in a second. Let's um. So we'll All right. Yeah, we'll keep that stuff. We want to put any of that in there. Okay, the blood. Yeah, the meats. The meats can all go in there. Perfect. And the mod can go in there. Perfect. Okay. I knew I heard that rad roach. <laughs> Little bastard. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's put the rad roach meat in here. Put it right here. Normally, I don't bother picking up rad roach meat, but we'll put the. We'll put it in there just in case there is a use for it. I don't think there is, but why not look? Okay, so sun's setting. Plus, we'll see if Mama Murphy is at least within view. She's not. That's all right. Let's go to the weapons workbench. Okay, calibrated receiver. What does that even do? Better crit shot. Oh, but we want the better damage anyway, so we're not going to do that. And what is the tactical part of it? I don't even see the tactical part. What makes it tactical? Reflex sight? Is that it? We could move that nice reflex sight. Defenses. I've got nothing else that I need right now. I think sure. Preston may they want to chat though. All right, so we'll do that. And then we'll go over to the one we actually have. And now we can just swap it. Even though we can't build it, we can just take that particular site and we can now mount it to our gun. And so that's why we took it. So now we can go over to this and we'll just scrap it and get what we can off of it. Perfect. So I've got a laser musket for a good energy weapon. And I've got tons of um, standard capacitor. Oh, you know what? Ooh, do I want to do a three crank? We could do the three crank capacitor. That way, if we need to do uh, a critical hit, we can crank it and then do a critical, and it's it's a good blast. Ooh. It's a good question. I don't think I want to use my oil for that. But the laser musket does decent damage. 30, 30 damage is pretty good. Oh man taught me that duct tape could fix anything. Full stock, better recoil still with materials that I don't exactly have a lot of. So let's not mess with that for right now. Okay. But we're good. Let's transfer transfer that. Standard sights. Okay. Why are we so heavy? Ah, right. We've got a Raider right arm that we need to scrap and then we can toss in that dress. That's not what I wanted. Let's Grab that. Oh, we only got two steel and cloth from that. That was not worth grabbing and bringing up over here. We'll go over here and I'll at least have another, another dress so I can at least have some options. Oh, um, I should probably clean that, clean up those chairs, huh? Didn't even see that. Not exactly the greatest, but it'll do. It'll do. Back up to the dresser. Casual outfit. Laundered wedding dress. Perfect. Okay. We're doing pretty well over here so far. Oh, right. And I meant to equip those glasses. Because they increased my perception. Hey. So while I'm at it, let's give you a dog collar. Let's see. Have you have a dog collar? Nah, I don't like the dog collar look on you, but we'll keep it on you anyway. And at some point, dog meat grabbed a hard hat. Why? Not really sure. Wow, that's a beautiful sunset. Holy shit. <laughs> Alrighty then. So now we set back out. We're back under 100 pounds of carried crap. And with each attempt, we'll get further and further south as we go back to the Corvega. Uh, as we go back to the Corvega factory on our first attempt to um, help out Preston as far as rebuilding the Min Men goes. I may need another soda in a minute. <laughs> Speed this up a little bit.
And the more quests we complete and the more time we spend with Codsworth, plus things doing things that he likes, his uh, affinity with us will eventually get to the point where uh, we'll max out his, his affinity and get his companion perk. Essentially, he'll like us better. Debating, should I go to that, actually? We're already up here. Let's do that, actually, since it's right up here. I think that's the Gorski cat. <clears throat> Excuse me, I think that's the Gorski cabin. I'm pretty sure. Guess we'll find out one way or the other. I'm starting to run. Ah, there we go. Yep. Now we got a sight on this. That's pretty cool. That must be why they said tactical. So how's your weekend, freak bot? Your folks have a good Mother's Day? Ended up uh, seeing my brother today. He is doing better. We sort of went through very similar situations. Uh, <laughs> my neck exploded. His lower spine basically uh, <laughs> uh, had an issue, so to speak. So he's also uh, learning how to walk again. But uh, he's he's moving his legs up and down. He was in pretty good spirits. So I think it also helped that he saw what I went through. It's like, all right, well, God could do that. Eh, I'm probably okay. Um, plus, he's not in a situation where, yep, yeah, we got ghouls, and oh, we're doing vats. Yeah, we're definitely doing vats. Vats? Don't do that to me. Ah, shit. All right, we'll kill that one. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Uh, but yeah, between the two of us, there's a single functioning spinal column. <laughs> That's very true. Take the whiskey bottle. That's damn right, Codsworth. Bourbon bottle. We like ceramic. Okay, so this, this tends to be a pretty dangerous place. Get on with it. Yes, get on with it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Maxi, how are you? <laughs> that was perfect. So instead of me rooting around like, get on with it. Yes, get on with it. <laughs> how you doing, Captain Maxi? Having a good weekend? <laughs> and we'll take the extinguisher. Now that I may put on dog meats. So you know what? Let's do that. Let us do that. We're going to explore this place and we're going to get some really valuable salvage out of here. Come here, dog meat. Nope. Good boy. <laughs> ah, return to the king. Nice. Well, then you're you're going to be you're going to be up for a while. <laughs> that is a great movie. Oh my god. Uh, what am I doing? Right. Uh, let's go to wait. All right. We're going to put the yeah, yeah, hot plate, gas canister, and the fan. Yep. Just give dog meat all the heavy things. That works. Oh, right. I also wanted to give you the fat man, because I'm probably not using that, and that's 30 pounds. I don't need to be taken up weight on my person. We're also going to go over here to explosives. Yes. We're doing a frag grenade, because... One of the things that my companions like to do at this spot is once I fire this thing, <laughs> only an hour left. <laughs> I'll see you at the very end. All right. What's all this then? That's how it's done. Ah, perfect. Killed him right outright. Sweet. And there may be things that explode in there. That's okay. We'll take the plumber. Oh, we'll the plunger. Yeah, we're going to get some some rads here. What we will do, we're going to take some... Oh, 
Okay, good. We're going to take some rad X. Just to help things along. Good. And rad X stacks. So you can mini nuke detonator shell, beryllium cap, beryllium cap. And, um, so yeah, the nice part about Rad X, nice. Wasteland Survival Guide, Diamond City's now permanently on your map, just in case you wanted it. They're about to march on the Black Gates. Oh man, that was such a great experience in the movie theater. For, uh, like, that was one of the best movies to see in the theater when it came out. I must have seen that movie like a good three or four times in the theater. It's probably, actually, Return of the King is probably the last movie that I watched multiple times in the theater. Uh, and I do love the mod that puts better magazines in here. This is not a modded thing. But it is very lore friendly, but we will take the bottle cap mine. Let's try and hack this. Better this time. Yes. Oh, well, we got it on the first try. That's nice. Statement of intent. This will be my first and only entry. I identify myself as a completely barker's crazy mother. Uh, I mean, a free thinking citizen of these once great United States. I will not stand by idly as the government infects the minds of its people with devices like the electrical tower they've erected in my front lawn. I pledge to take down this mind control device by any means necessary and have begun construction on an incendiary device. If you're reading this, I've certainly been killed or detained in a government interrogation camp. The news will surely warp the truth and brand me a communist traitor. Do not believe their lies. Let all the true patriots know of that I, uh, that what I do, I do of my own free will and for the sake for the good of my country. <laughs> oh yeah, I you know, I, I should have watched that movie multiple times in the theater. That was a great, great movie. I think the first time you saw it was with me. I know we watched it. I know we watched it together. I just don't know if that was your first viewing of it um, or not. Oh yeah, we definitely want to take the cement here. Come here, dog meat. You're gonna carry this cement. Heads up. Boom. That was a great movie. That was a great movie to see in the theater. Oh my God. Fury Road was so awesome. Uh, yeah, you'll carry these heavy things. Okay, perfect. We are ready to set back out. Second was, with okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't tell. Uh, I couldn't remember. Um, so yeah, I imagine that conversation probably went something to the effect of, Oh my God, Todd, you have to see this movie. And it was so good. I'm, I will see it again. <laughs> that's, that's probably how that went. I'm going to guess. The room charge of Minas Tirith and the charge of Fro. Oh yeah. Yeah, totally. So I had read the books, um, back in like high school. Cause I never thought, I never dreamed they would, ah, here we go. Where are you? There you are. Yes? Excuse me. So what's your story? Looking to trade? Rob me? Or just ask directions to Diamond City? <laughs> your money. All of it. Now, now you can rob her, but, um, but then she, she base it, it's, it, it's a horrible, horrible decision because she's going to be around for like the rest of the game. Just looking for love, sweetheart. <laughs> Girl, have you come to the wrong place? My loving days have long since passed. But I'll tell you what, beautiful. You made an old girl smile, and that ain't easy. You want to do some trading? I'll uh, give you a discount. Let's see what you have. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. <laughs> but yeah, by doing that, she gives you a discount that you can take advantage of the rest of the game. It's awesome. Uh, so yes, we will definitely buy 10 millimeter rounds. We need ammo so badly. But what we will do is we will give her... All our 38 ammo that we've got because i'd rather have 10 millimeter ammo instead of the 38 and we'll make money in this exchange so this works so yeah we're gonna accept that perfect that worked we don't need directions to diamond city we know where it is we have the magazine that marked it on our map permanently now we'll deal with this we had a deal trudy <laughs> hand over the goods you owe us i ain't giving you poison shilling chem pushers anything you know what that junk has done to my boy? He bought them fair and square, Trudy. Ain't our fault if he's strung out. Now don't make me come in there and shoot up that little trading post of yours. Whoa, whoa, easy there, vault girl. This doesn't involve you. Uh, 
Stop waving that gun in my face or it's gonna involve me. You stop waving that gun in my face or it's gonna involve me. Okay, okay, just take it easy. We'll lower our weapons, all right? Just don't do anything crazy. <laughs> and now we could rob them. <laughs> we, we're not gonna do that, but, but we could. Looks like you got some trouble. I could help. Help? What are you, some kind of hired gun? Or maybe you can talk some sense into Trudy over there. So, uh, as you guys saw, Codsworth disliked me being kind of tough, but then liked that I offered help. And it's one of the things where companions will like or dislike things that you do. To me, I like this better than the karma system, which is like some global value. It's like, oh my goodness, you shoplifted an ashtray. Nobody saw you shoplift the ashtray. Only this global like viewing thing entity knows you stole the ashtray. And now people all the way on the other side of the wasteland like revile you for it. It's like, it didn't really make a whole lot of sense to me. I much prefer this where there's no global karma system, but your companions will like or dislike things that you do. And it helps your affinity to, to all of that. Uh, Men at work, Charlie Sheen. I've never actually seen that. Uh, I, I think I have to see that at some point. HBO doesn't have the extended editions. Any oh no. <laughs> I can just imagine the me. Uh, so, so calling on to me, Maxi. Just looking at HBO, you have no power here. <laughs> yeah, Todd Howard saw you steal that ashtray, right? So, uh, but I do, it would be, and we had this conversation, I had this conversation with Freepa. It would be nice if there were like some global, like, or local affinity. So if you're an asshat in Diamond City, people in Diamond City were like, okay, stuff started missing when you showed up. Even if they didn't see you, they would be like, okay, we don't necessarily trust the vault girl. Because as soon as she started showing up, People started getting murdered, things started getting stolen, and you could sort of, you could see a, car, a local karma system working. Now, granted, that would be a little more work, but um, but I think that would have been nice. Hopefully, with the new Fallout 5 game that they have or have not uh, announced, we know, we know they're working on it. I just don't know if anything's official. Uh, she kept putting pots on our heads before things disappeared. <laughs> So there's, there are some workarounds in this game where you can pick an item up. You don't necessarily put it in your inventory, but if you pick it up and you like put it in a box or something and then pull the box into a different room and then nobody sees you, you could steal as many things as you want. Nobody's going to react to it. So there is uh, definitely some interesting workarounds for, uh, for <laughs> modern problems require modern solutions, as it were. <laughs> Sight-based best deception. I mean... To some extent, site-based theft detection should be really the only way it works. But at the same time, also, if a bunch of stuff starts going missing and someone new is in town, I think it's reasonable to to at least suspect, right? I do want to check the Miami, Miami fall, Fallout Miami mod for this if it ever gets finished. Yeah, I've heard so many good things about that Miami mod. Uh, HBO, like, the extended edition is mine and no others. Uh, let's see. I hope I expect to get paid. If I help. I expect to get paid. All right. I was going to pay you 100 caps, but why don't we make it 125? <laughs> Sounds low. You're a businessman, right? You can do better. I'm not here to haggle. Oh, fuck. You'll get whatever I feel like giving you. I guess my charisma's not high enough for that yet. Now what's it going to be? <laughs> well, that's all right. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I'll talk to her. Maybe we can work this out. I appreciate right. it. If things go sideways, we'll back you up. I keep forgetting the voice protagonist. I don't have to read off the dialogue before I pick it. <clears throat> I saw you in that poison cellar talking. Well, he ain't getting his money. Period. Look, you owe them money. If you just pay them, then this will be over. Everyone walks away without getting hurt. All right, I'll pay. But that bastard ain't gonna sell one more drop of jet to my boy. You hear that, Wolfgang? You'll get your damn money, but I better not catch you selling chems to my boy again. Fine by me, Trudy. Your son's broke as shit anyhow. All right. Crisis is over. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Perfect. Let's talk to Wolfgang and get our money. Excuse me. We get paid and I don't even gotta shoot nobody. Good job. Here. Now how about I show you all the pick-me-ups I have to offer? What kind of 
hems do you sell, anyway? Oh, whatever I can get a hold of. Jet's popular. Gives you a rush when you need it. Like when you need to hurt somebody. That works for now. Uh, let's buy some ammo. Again. A little lighter in the pocket, thanks to you. How about you buy something and make it up to us? <laughs> so uh, I know that it was one of the major targets for the bombs, but Fallout 5 needs to be set in uh, New York City because five boroughs. Oh. <laughs> I mean, that would make that actually would make a lot of sense, right? Fallout 5, five boroughs. Yeah, that would be kind of cool, right? I think in New York City, Fallout would be pretty badass. But boy, that would be... That would need to be a massive game, and you'd need to be able to do that justice. Um, but who knows? Uh, we were talking. I mean, I was having this conversation, uh, and I'm like, Chicago would be a good, uh, a good five kind of uh, place too, right? The extended editions came to me. It's mine, my own. <laughs> you got things covered from here? Yeah. Oh. It's gonna take my son a while to get off the chems, but we'll make it. We always do. Now, let's get back to business. You need anything for the road? Let's see what you have. All salvage, but nothing's junk. And we got our first rad storm rolling in. We could sort of see that green tint, like, oh boy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, let's take, even though it's gonna be a little expensive, let's do that and let's see what we can give her in exchange. Uh, we've got plenty of five millimeter rounds. We've got this fusion core that's almost drained. We'll take that. I don't want to sell the shotgun shells or the fusion cells yet because we might need those. So let's sell a bunch of this five millimeter ammo. We'll just have to... Fine. I've got a cursor. That's fine. Let's just do that. Yep, that's perfect. And we'll still make some money off this. The kind of chems that make a mutual friend of ours have to pay off the streets of QA. <laughs> Get off the streets of Key West ASAP. <laughs> All right. So now, now I've got enough ammunition where I don't have to uh, completely fret about it. So now we got issues. First rad storm. And I imagine our, uh, our sole survivor is looking around at this like, what the fuck kind of rain is this? Holy shit. <laughs> We'll pick up a little Nuka Cola Quantum that's always in here. Take the glass. All right. So we dealt with Trudy. Now let's head south, get to the Corvega plant. We have to go through Lexington a little bit. Actually, that's what we'll do because Preston mentioned that uh, some friends of his got separated in Lexington. So that's one of the things I like to do first. Is like, you know what? I'm going in this area anyway. I want to do some recon. Oh, wow. That was a really quick rad storm. So that's the Corvega plant. So that's where we're going to be going. Looks really nice at this point. The game is beautiful. There's no denying that. So here's Lexington. Here's our parking garage. We're going to go around this way. Now that they think about it, the world of Fallout is probably one of the very few where Viagra will be used for its originally intended purpose more often than its marketed purpose, right? Bringing back the uh, the Viagra conversation from before. There's a donut shop. Is that what I want? We got some hero ghouls. Don't have to worry about that. But interesting, I don't see any bombs at the moment. So that's interesting. Okay. That'll be interesting for a reason I'll specify a little later. You know what? Let's go check out this there might be something interesting in here but we're still really early and any little bit of oh yes 10 millimeter rounds we will take that i don't need the 10 millimeter pistol but we are to the point where we still need every little bit of salvage that we can get is that a border is that oh lexington oh lexington parking garage uh, that's not the same parking garage go in here Let's see. Sometimes there are unmarked locations. Take the pistol anyway in case it has bullets in it. You're right, because in this game, you can pick up a weapon and it will have ammo in it. That is true. You're right. You are right. I didn't didn't think about it. I'll grab the pistol on the way back. I think, yep. Well, 
closer these guys get, the more I'll use bow. Oh, shit. Do I have an explosive equipped? Yes, I do. Good. Shit. Fire take care of some of those other ghouls. Thought there were a few more on my back. Okay, good. The explosion took care of the, uh, if, if the grenade didn't, that flammable canister took care of the rest of the ghouls that were charging forward. There's still another one out there. Hopefully it's not anything too bad. Oh, a Minuteman. So we found one of the Minutemen. Go see what else is out over here. This is a locked cabinet, right? Yep. Security key. Shit. Here it comes. Okay. Thankfully, it seemed disoriented, so I was able to just line up my shot before it really started to charge forward. <laughs> I can't imagine it must be pleasant for you, Mom. No. No, it's not. Poor settler. I'll take Mentats. Mentats are basically this world's version of Adderall. That's true. They could always scrap it. I didn't... It looked like it was a standard one, so I don't think it's got um, mods to uh, salvage, but we'll check again. It looked like a standard 10 millimeter pistol to me. But either way, you're absolutely right. Because yeah, in this game, nice. ammo will be in the weapon and you don't get the ammo until you pick up the weapon. At this point, I kind of need ammo. So, <laughs> now, late game, we don't need to worry about that as much. Right now, yeah, we need ammo. So we are going back for that 10 millimeter pistol for sure. Yep, we'll take the Super Thaw Antifreeze. Okay. All right, that was worth it. That was definitely worth investigating in the parking garage. That's true. Late game, you grabbed the pistol and scrap it for screws. That is so true. <laughs> yep. Screws are so valuable. Is that, that pistol was over here. That's yeah, just a standard 10 millimeter pistol. But we did get ammo from it. Good, we needed it. Okay. Get the hell out of here. Now, Lexington can be very dangerous. There are a lot of ghouls. There's just a lot of shit in general. So what we want is we're going to go into the Super Duper Mart. Because that's where... And granted, Preston didn't know that. Preston just knew the Minutemen ended up getting separated in Lexington. So all the way over there. I don't think Vats can uh, select it, but... Nope, it can't. It can just find that one girl ghoul. But right there is a raider in power armor. I just walked behind this um, Slocum's Joe billboard over that little bridge. Oh, there he is. Raider in power armor. Well, he or she. Sometimes it, it, I think it's random of who it is. But there's uh, usually the power armor one's male and then the other one's female. Usually. But sometimes the game will swap them. Yes. Oh my god. Typewriters. Typewriters are awesome late game. I don't pick them up early because they're so frippin' heavy. But yeah, late game when you've got some nice power armor. Uh, yeah, they're awesome. I always pick up desk fans, even early. Microscopes are also awesome because they have crystal. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, I don't know if you... Can you pick up radios? I don't think you can pick up radios. Miss Violet, pick anything good? What were you about to say, Codsworth? Or was it just that? <laughs> can you pick up radios? I know you can scrap radios when they're in um, when they're in settlements, and they're awesome to scrap. I don't know if you can pick up radios. <laughs> I love the companions' dialogue and when they talk about stuff. I dare you to quick save and try to gank the fusion core from the Raiders power armor while they're still in it. Uh, the broken ones you can, I think. We'll we'll take another look. I 
I'm not so I'm not so sure, but it's easy enough to try. We'll give it the good college try. Um Okay. We got a lot of ghouls in here and we're still really fragile. So we gotta be really, 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 really careful. Uh and no, or I'm not gonna try. I am not gonna try that. I'm not good enough at stealth to make it up to that uh, Raider and Power Armor. He is going to see, I'll tell you exactly how that'll go. The Raider and Power Armor will see me. He will launch a mini nuke and we will explode. <laughs> and that, and that's how that's gonna go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Actually, let me get a quick soda refill. I will be right back, ladies and gents, probably about a minute. I'm just gonna hit pause. And I shall return very quickly because I am parched and I need soda. Open the window. Soda. 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 That's why I said quick save first. <laughs> For Frodo! <laughs> oh man, we're getting a play-by-play -play of the, uh, of one of the best movies ever made. <laughs> Alright, so we're going back in game. <laughs> That's true, you did say, you did say quick save first. But, uh, but yeah, that is, that is absolutely doomed for failure. <laughs> and believe it or not, we actually haven't died in this playthrough yet. I'm kind of curious to see how far we can taking an easily undoable L for entertainment value. <laughs> I know, I know. I was debating like I don't want to jinx it, right? Because now we're now we're, it looks like now it's a given. It's like, well, Seraph jinxed it. Now he's gonna die. <laughs> hey, Rob, how are you, my friend? How's your weekend going? Oh my goodness. So we're going to... Ooh, gold-plated flip lighter. That is awesome. I think we already got these. Yep, we already got these. Okay, so we basically went all the way over there, and then we just came straight back. That's how we did this. Okay. Grab the ladle. Sure, we'll grab that. We're basically just going to grab everything. I wonder what brought the roof down on this. So we got pre-war money. We'll take the ceramic. Yes, we'll take it. Yeah, we were just talking about that. Desk fan. Silver pork. Oh, we gained a level. Let's take a look. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> so I don't know. If it doesn't count against that, then uh, as far as... Because what I'm kind of curious to do is to see how far uh, I can get without dying at all. Um, it'd be, it'd be interesting to see. Uh, yeah, we probably, we probably need to take this. So let's, let's be able to pick advanced locks because we, there are just so many locks in this game that it really does make sense. Oh, look at that. 
And I now have the ability to pick these. Cool, I guessed correctly. Yes. A purposefully inflicted... Okay, okay. Since that's the case, we can try and go up there and see if we can pickpocket the... Uh, well, actually, you know what? So, uh... My goodness, can you... Are you can you pick it, the, uh, the fusion core? I know you could shoot the fusion cores out, but I should have a critical hit, a critical um, shot stored. So that we should be able to do. We should be able to shoot the fusion core and get the Raider to exit the power armor. I don't know if I've ever tried to pickpocket the pow uh, the fusion core. Um, I don't, I can't imagine that it wouldn't work, right? Yeah, you can steal it. Yeah, I would think so. I think I've always just not tried. Um, Yeah, very likely. Yeah, you'll likely. I, I think. Yeah, it's. I think. I think I am gonna get caught. But uh, <laughs> I think. I think I'm gonna get caught. I think I'm gonna die really badly. Because what we have to do is we have to get past all the ghouls, and we have to kill the ghouls without them coming back down. Uh, and then right. And once you pilfer the uh, the fusion core, it would be the same exact thing as if you had shot it. And yeah, then they're ejected from the from the power armor. And then of course, then they know that you're there. I think. But um. Ad break in progress, of course. Just get this for the XP. Nice. Well, we'll do this. We'll do the protectron. Turn that on. Okay. Okay, so before the ad rudely interrupted us. <laughs> uh yeah, they, they uh if you can if you can indeed steal it, then yeah, they'll they'll be ejected from the from the power armor for sure. There is Okay, the magazine should be over there. Yeah, the magazine's gonna be over there. But, uh, you know, let's deal with all these guys. Yeah, let's just kill them. Cool. And because we did a decent amount of damage to them, we got the XP for it. We didn't actually have to use all that ammo. So, you know. Having our companions help us out a little bit. A little cheese, but it works. All right, I'm not going to pick up those. We'll take a few more money. We will pick this lock. Or not. We're not going to pick that lock. No, but we got it that time. Sweet. All right, so we got that. I, my, my guess is that we're not even... I'll try it. I'll try it. And this won't count for our... Um, for how far Seraph has managed to get in the run without dying. But yeah, it's almost virtually assured. It's almost assured that that thing will kill us. Uh, right here. Yes. Tales of a Junk Town Excellent. Turkey Renter. There we go. And now we've got better prices permanently. Sweet. Okay, so there's a Minuteman. And that Protectron we activated a second ago. So hopefully the Protectron will find some of these. Good. We're now back above 200 rounds. Let's go in here. We'll pick this door. <laughs> Slow clap. <laughs> That's it. Now we're going to have a feral ghoul show up in here in a second. Come on, buddy. I tried to. Oh, shit. That was actually a pretty decent shot, backing up and still hitting it dead center in the chest. I mean, I didn't go for the headshot there, but still, that was pretty nifty. All right, I already have a laser musket. We're pretty good there. So we've got a minute man here. Right, let's uh, take that. I don't think we need the 
I don't think we need the outfit. We're good here. Let's go take a look in here. Ammo. Good. Yeah, when I was playing this game for the first time on the PlayStation, scrap the musket for crystal. You know, I never thought about that. I'm so used to um, really managing my weight. <laughs> and the muskets are heavy, but you're right. I didn't think about that. Although my concern... You know what? We'll take the melon too, because we can make a melon farm. I'm bored. Let's do that. Let's not mess around. All right. Let's make sure there's nothing else in here. All right. We've already gone this way. Cool. Okay. Now then... What's all this? What are you shooting at? Hostile target identified. Oh. oh, I must have hit the fucking Protectron. Shit. Fuck. Well, this just got interesting. Not mean to hit the Protectron. I was trying to help the Protectron. <laughs> Just make Codsworth carry it, <laughs> right? I'm a pack rat who always moves at the speed of over encumbered. Yeah, I really try to avoid being over encumbered by any means necessary. So we managed to uh, get all the feral ghouls to come over here. Okay. That is not. Heads up. Ugh. Look alive. You. Your thoughts? A communist, a spy, and a Chinese man walk into a bar. He orders a drink. <laughs> I mean, you were going to order <laughs> hit the protection eventually, anyways. Just an order of operations error, right? Uh, no, that's it for now. That's all. So Codsworth will tell jokes and shit. It's awesome. Uh, but normally, <laughs> normally, I'm pretty good at not hitting the protectron. Most of the time. Not this time. Are we pack rats now, yeah, that, uh, that shopping cart is not worth the steal. It's too heavy. Nice. So I'm usually pretty good at judging what's worth picking up and what's not. Desk fans, we always pick those up. Those are awesome every time. Um, we'll pick up the dish rag now. Later on, we're not going to bother. We'll have plenty. The alarm clock. Oh, maybe you're thinking of the alarm clocks and not radios? Because, yeah, the alarm clocks are awesome. That's probably what you were thinking of. Instead of a radio, you're probably thinking of an alarm clock. So many alarm clocks are kind of like double as radios. Or at least they look like they do. So before we were rudely interrupted by the ghouls before, when I was first playing this game on... PlayStation. <laughs> Soap is also awesome because it's oil and it's light. Yeah, we'll take credit. We'll take carrots too. These carrots are light. Come on, dog me. Get out of the way. Good. Man, we're getting some good stuff. Gold watches. Flip lighters. Flip lighters are also awesome. Hmm. <laughs> A little freaky when they just start crawling out of there. But yeah, first time playing this game on PlayStation. And I'm going through this very, very uh, super duper mart. And I see a ghoul crawling through this, the window for the first time. And I must have been like, holy shit. <laughs> it was a game changing moment. Uh, as I was thinking. Um, yeah, that's the headshot you were looking for. Yep. The Cyclops Tower has fallen! <laughs> Nothing 
that, dude. Let's take fusion core. Mohawk. Take tin can. Uh, I usually don't bother with the baby rattles. It's just plastic. We'll take those. You know what? Since we're being pack rats at the moment. But normally, I am not this aggressive with stuff I pick up. I almost never pick up extinguishers either because they're so heavy. But we will on this particular salvage run. This is about to get bad. It's always bad. We'll put two rounds in this guy. Eh, fire me. That will take care of it. Good job, Codsworth. Duct tape. We always pick up duct tape because adhesive is awesome. We'll take the rat poison early on. All right. Yes, we like the Pro Snaps camera. Also, there are. Um, yeah, we'll take Josh's hollow tape. Miss Violet, I imagine this place is giving me all the fancy a bit of <laughs> You can always use the extent. Yeah, it's true. You can use the extent because they're flammable. They're combustible. Uh, drop a bunch into a pile and shoot them. <laughs> yep, I never thought about dropping them into a pile. That's actually true. That would make for a good improvised explosive. But usually if they're nearby an extinguisher, you could shoot the extinguisher and it will. it is combustible. They, they tend to explode. There's uh, actually a spot where that ends up being to our extreme detriment. We'll pick up Josh's hollow tape here. We don't need the athletic. Man, these ghouls just, these ghouls just keep coming while I'm trying to have a conversation here. All right, so we've got automatic tactical. We don't need that, but we will take the leather right arm that's boiled and strengthened for sure. They're just so freaking heavy, uh, but sure, we'll take those because you know what? We might also want to equip people with them later, so this is all right. This is the time to be kind of being a pack rat. Let's see, that's a wooden crate. There we go. Got it. <laughs> I remember that room you alluded to. <laughs> I went boom. <laughs> yeah, we'll be going there pretty soon. Um, well, I mean, there are also two different rooms you could be talking about. There's the one, uh, there's one in Corvega, and then there's one outside that's north of, um, north of Fort Hagen. And the one north of Fort Hagen is probably the one you're talking about at the moment. And yeah, it's very easy to go boom in that room. <laughs> uh, I'm going to guess that that's the one you're talking about. I think there's still a ghoul down here. Nope, there is not, but we will take the glass pitcher. Those pictures are awesome. Yeah, fuck it. Since we're already in pack rat mode. <laughs> I love the sunsets. Yeah, I, I just leave cram. I don't bother. Where is it? There you are. Yeah, we staggered it, and that was the end of that. That. We'll leave that. And, uh, ooh, you had duct tape. Hell yeah. All right. Then we'll take Emma's. We'll take Potato. We will take the left leg. She's in an athletic outfit. She's also a Minuteman, but she just wasn't in any kind of... Uh... Surely you can put some of that down. Oh, and we will, because you're going to carry it. Of course. <laughs> well, now we know which role you'd play if we reenacted the MP spam sketch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is very, very true. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's see. Oh. Godsworth already has a bunch of stuff I've given him. Shit. Well. Okay. Hey, dog me. Perfect. Okay. Wait, <laughs> we'll give you the extinguisher, some of this shit, some candy fuel, and we'll give you the heavy shit. Yep, now he's at his capacity. All right, so now we have to be a little careful. All right, so we got Josh's hollow tape and we got Emma's hollow tape. We'll play both. 
Actually, that's a sound alert idea for you. <laughs> Open the door. Yeah, that would be good. Come on. All right, cool. All right, now time to head back. And I think what we'll do is we'll go... We'll go to Sanctuary first, and we'll unload all of this trash. And there's the Starlight Drive-In. That's where we're going to build our first real base. But we're not going to do that yet. Run. I mean, I could fast travel to it, but... Um, I usually try not to fast travel for the most part. Usually. Yep, I could hear it before I could uh, see it. There you are, you little bastard. There we go. Now we got it. Wow, I dodged oh. that. <laughs> yeah, I love the bloat flies. They actually... Uh, so they're... Um, the projectiles they launch are uh, are maggots. They're actual larvae. They'll just fire maggots at you. They're really, really disgusting. <laughs> and water, of course, soaked up all the radiation. So any kind of body of water is really radioactive. Not a great idea to kind of experiment with. So at this point, now that we've talked to Carla, Carla will wander around and these guys will always be here. Now, if we had threatened them and basically robbed them, fire the baby cannon. <laughs> oh, it'd be great. <laughs> oh, right. There's a campsite over here. Let's go check this out. It's usually some decent salvage over here. Take a copper fuse. We'll take an empty milk bottle. We'll take a dick doll. That's good. Stim pack, buff out. All right. So we've got a good array of chems now. Depending on what Mama Murphy wants, we can now give it to her. Once we get there, don't want to completely run out. If we completely run out, it's. We have to wait for it to come back and we have to walk. Or we'll move much slower. So it's kind of a game. Yeah, I know. You'll get there. <laughs> Phrasing. <laughs> Yeah, are we still doing phrasing now? Yep, we're still doing phrasing. Hell yeah, we are. That's a good... Actually, that's another good one, Darkstar. <laughs> that's a really good one. I don't think anybody uses that either. And, and we should. <laughs> trying to remember what it's from now, though. Uh, that's from Archer, right? Phrasing? Pretty sure it's from Archer. My goodness, isn't that funny? I can't actually, in my head, lock down what phrasing is from. I usually just say it, right? <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's a reference. Um, ah, there we go. And the dog and the uh, raider are gone now. Someone from Sanctuary cleaned him up finally. Yeah, it's a little annoying. At least for me, it's annoying to see that dog and that raider at the very edge of that uh, bridge every single flip in time. Kind of drives me a little crazy. But all right. Here we go. Good dog meat. Come here. Give me all your stuff. Except, you know what? The hard hat, too. Yeah, we're going to need all this stuff. We need all of it. And Codsworth. Good. Uh, actually, we could probably take everything, right? Yeah, you don't have anything that we don't want to take. Yep, take all. Perfect. Take all. 
and now we're really really encumbered how much salvage did we take we have 348 pounds <laughs> oh man that's hilarious that is uh that is a lot we were we were really hoarders this time okay but well, we're good now let's put the squirrel bits down bloat fly meat carrot we got some melon tato we're good here we could probably put that nuka cola in there we're not going to drink that we don't need to put any of this in there. I think we're good. Okay. We will want to put that patch three piece suit in the heart. You know what? We'll just put these back in. I'm not going to put that in. Oh, right. We need to equip one of these. Let's take a look. I forgot to equip it. Armor. Let's see. Ooh, that's good. So the left leg is better and the right arm is better by one each. Perfect. Okay. So now we can go and we can scrap these. We may as well. And let's find out if by scrapping the muskets, we get crystal or if we need a perk to do that later. We might need the perk because there's a perk for scrapping. Uh, it's called scrapper and it allows you to get more components from things you scrap. We will be taking that perk because it's very valuable, but um, <laughs> rolling around at the speed of sound. <laughs> let's see. Uh, yep. We're just going to those Grab those Perfect. Okay. good deal and now let's go over here and let's see what you guys give me for the laser muskets we got shorts so we got three of them we're gonna scrap two of them yeah at this at this point it just gives us steel and wood so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stash the extras sure let's scrap that one we'll take the five we'll take the five steel for that but i'm gonna store laser muskets just to keep them because we can always equip them to people we might we might have a use for these a little later that's okay this was the time to be picking them up bolt action action rifle uh then yes we will keep that we'll keep the one that does 34 damage oh but it's 308 versus 38 yeah that makes sense but yeah if we need to use a rifle that's the one we'll use let's see one weighs six pounds, one weighs four pounds. It's really not a deal breaker either way, but you know, we'll just put the pipe rifle in there in case we need it. We got more than enough Molotov cocktails. We got a bottle cap mine and a frag mine now. All right, I think we've got a good array of weapons. Okay, so let's take some rat away. We're really not too uh, abusive with the rat away at this point, but since it's getting there, let's for eight hours. That will work. Uh, so I, uh, the dresser uh, was already in the house. I'm just, I'm just using the dresser that was already here. Now this dresser used to be over here. So the fact that it's at this angle tells me at some point, someone was living in my house in the last 200 years and moved it from here and moved it over here, which is interesting. Uh, I ask only because non-player made containers can be susceptible to world container resets. Oh, I've never had that happen, but that's, but if that's the case, we definitely don't want to lose out of it because yeah, the only option we have is to scrap it. We can't move it. Like we could, I, I can't move it. It can only scrap it. So. Uh, that being the case, yeah, we'll build, let's build our own furniture, uh, build our own dresser here. Cabinet. Yeah, we don't need that gigantic cabinet. Uh, so now we can build our own dresser and yeah, that's fine. I'll put it where I had my dresser originally. Casual outfit, laundered green dress. I'm going to keep my wedding ring on me. I'm not going to put the wedding ring in there. That just seems unwise. <laughs> We've got a lot of purified water. So while we're at this, let's actually put a cooler out here. So I'm glad you pointed that out. I did not know that. Yeah, oh, that's not what I want. furniture why am i not being able to why am i i thought it was containers 
Not a container? I just, oh, there it is. Cooler. I just looked. I must have ran right past it. All right. So what we could do is we could put some of this purified water in there. We don't need to be carrying around all of that. And maybe I'll put one Nuka-Cola Quantum in there. And we'll start our collection of stuff that we, you know, cook. cook and we can just put it in there. Close this door. That's not all that great. Now, one of the things you could do if you didn't want all of these, because uh, obviously there's no glass here. So what we could do is we could board this up. Um, and actually, when we put this uh, roof overhead, we could have built walls to that and clipped the whole thing in so that we had walls here. I personally don't bother with that because then the inside of the house is really dark. It gets it just gets really dark um, and I don't want to. I like to be able to patch the roof, but I'm OK with leaving it go for well, letting it go for a little while until we get power back up and running here. And of course, we don't really have, you know, well, oh, there's Mama Murphy. Scrapping that. <laughs> We're scrapping that. Yeah, the puddles reflect OK. One day, Sanctuary will be a vibrant community. I've seen it. Hey, got something with a bit of a kick for me, kid? Here. Here. One hit a jet. You did good. Now, let me ride the high to where the site wants to take me. Diamond City holds answers, but they're locked tight. You ask them what they know, but people's hearts are chained up with fear and suspicion. But you find it. You find that heart that's going to lead you to your boy. Oh, it's, it's bright. So bright against the dark alleys it walks. That's, that's what you need to do, kid. Follow the signs to the bright heart. Phew. Wow. That took more out of me than usual. <laughs> I'm going to need to rest now. Kid. You ask me, freedom's always worth fighting for. Hey there. Hey. Okay, you didn't have anything you wanted me to talk about. Sturgis is just talking out of his ass. Or he wants me to talk to you, but he thinks I already finished the other thing. So while we're on our way out, we'll just scrap while we go. Yeah, we may as well scrap that. It's just So before I go, let's... Oh, that was what I was looking for. Literally that spot. Yes. Scrap the mailbox. Okay, so we need circuitry, but we also probably need oil. We don't have any circuitry. But we do have a couple of... Let's... Hmm. Thank you. Let's actually order you in alphabetical order. What Mama Mary used to do is lay off the chems. <laughs> oh, yeah. Things that'll never happen. <laughs> but yeah, she does. So I, I'm, I'm going to just say this because we're not going to do this. But if we were so inclined and you keep giving Mama Murphy chems, once you give her psycho and she gives you the site after the psycho, she dies. She overdoses on the psycho every time. It's the psycho that that kills her. Um. I mean, I think it's all of the chems that she does. That rubbish where you found it. it just so happens that when you see when she asks for Psycho, that's the, that's the one that will that will ultimately kill her. Kill her. So we're just going to keep giving her chems to see the site. And then when she asks for Psycho, we're that's the moment where we're going to tell her exactly what Darkstar just said. And we're like, yeah, you need to lay off the chems. <laughs> and there's a speech check involved. But by that point, we're going to have the charisma to do it. Oh, I don't have a level, right? Nope, we don't have a level at this point. But we're now back at full health. Yay! Good. God rays look good. Yeah, it always hiccups at certain points because it's it's loading the cell. It's just kind of... Oops. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Nope. That doesn't do enough. <laughs> Bastard. 
<laughs> I really didn't want to get hit, and I didn't want to use the ammo. Oh, well. So now we'll go back here. Now that we've got the proper circuitry, and we should be able to build at least one turret. At least one. And I didn't grab that many from Sanctuary. I just grabbed enough where I knew we would have enough to be able to do this. Okay. Because this place has no... Yeah, we can only build one turret. Fuck. Alright, fine. But we'll put the turret over here. And at least now we've got something. The problem is what we need is 21 defense. Because we've got 3 water and 18 food. And until we get defense up to 20... Did I say? Oh, yeah. Um, uh, 21. It's This whole settlement is just going to be more susceptible to uh, raider attacks. It, it just is. So that's what we're going to try and do. We're going to try once we get more materials to do that. What will really help is once we get a perk called Local Leader. That will allow us to set up provisioners and link our workshops and set up supply lines so we could share supplies between settlements because then we could work off of this shared pool that I'm currently stockpiling in Sanctuary. And then I could just build what I really need to do. You know, it's nice that Twitch tells me it's running an ad. But it's supposed to warn me, like, a minute before it happens that it's going to run an ad. <laughs> like, I really wish you would have told me that so I could have, you know, told people, hey, I'll see you in a minute. I do like the textures for these mods. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Sorry about that. Oh, right, there's uh, something up here. That's right, we can get that. get to it. It's too high. Nope, it's too high. So I can't get it from here. I don't remember if anything's particularly useful in it. But I kind of want to find out. Take the coffee cup. Oh, buff out. Well, we'll take buff out. Why not? Also miss that. Perfect. There we go. Yeah, there's another character that kind of needs to lay off the chems. Oh, who are you? I'm always open for business. You must know everything that's going on around the Commonwealth. Ever seen that old sailing ship on top of the building in Charleston? Well, apparently some crazy robot has moved in and started building something in it. Nobody knows what it's up to. Robots. What are you going to do? Am I right? No. Did you want to trade at all? That's pretty cool. I've actually never seen that particular bit of dialogue. Let's see Let's what you see got. What you have. It is over. It is done. <laughs> That's the perfect meme for that. <laughs> so we could buy rubber if we were uh, so inclined. Wow, you got next to no ammo for that. But you know what? We'll buy that. We'll buy the ammo that you do have. Handcuffs are cool because they don't weigh a whole lot and they've got a spring and a screw in them. But again, at this point of the game, yeah, you know what? Let's just, uh... Perfect. And I'll take a little... <laughs> Investigate the Brotherhood of Steel outpost. I don't think that's a Brotherhood of Steel outpost. Right? We need to kill the raiders in Corvega. Interesting. She told us about this. Oh, we must have also just at this time picked up the radio transmission, didn't we? No, we didn't pick up the radio transmission. Interesting. So the game told us about this, but it also highlighted to check out the police station. That's very interesting. Curious. 
I don't think it was supposed to do that. <laughs> I think uh, somebody missed that particular piece of code. But yeah, the water looks beautiful, man. And the ripples in it and shit. Much, much better modded. There's going to be our main base in a little while. But we'll have to clear it out first. What I'm trying to do, though, is get things started off. I want to get some XP. We have to go through Lexington to get to Corvega anyway. But I want to make sure that when we get to Diamond City, we can survive what surrounds Diamond City. And that is not always a given. Right. Now that we're getting close here, I will always draw my firearm around Lexington. Actually, I think that is a truck that has a door we can open. thinking of a different truck. So we got a couple of avenues into the Corvega plant at our disposal. We could go up this bridge and try to take some, th some of these uh, guards out over here from the safety of this area. That tends to take a while. We're not going to do that. We're going to go a slightly different route. I'm going to hide. Let's go check out the Red Rocket, see what it's got. I generally will grab a lot of the lighter things. Okay. So we got to worry about that raider over there. We definitely have to worry about all the raiders, raiders at Corvega. Nope. Oh, ghouls woke up. Shit. Oh, shit. Codsworth got that one under control. Good. Okay. Good teamwork there, guys. I usually don't bother picking up the fancy hairbrush. It's too heavy for what it has. Although the silver is nice. <laughs> all right. All right. Sorry. I, it's Fallout. You get, you just get sidetracked so easily. Uh, but now that all the ghouls came out of here, I kind of want to go in there and check it all out. But you're right. Get on with it. Get on with it. <laughs> all right. So what we need to do is avoid the raider seeing us and shooting that fucking fat man at us. We definitely don't want to get hit by that. So I'm going to try and stay out of view of that. Where is it? Fuck. And it's shooting at us. No, it's shooting at the ghouls. Okay, that's fine. It can shoot at the ghouls. Good, good dog. Good dog. Okay, now one of the benefits of that, that raider only has a certain amount of ammunition. So, now that it's fired, it's fat man least once we can try dark stars idea Ooh, fuses are awesome dead raider probably died from uh cool attacks there's our raider although he still has a fat man equipped okay now he should be out of ammo i think he only has two shots Shit, shit, shit. Good, he shot me. That's perfect. Means he doesn't have any more ammunition. Where are these guys? Oh, lovely. Yep. You can fight amongst that. Fuckers. Point blank range. That shot. <laughs> Well, I'll deal with that Fearow Ghoul in a second. Kill you. I don't know where Codsworth is. Codsworth may have taken one of those Batman shells. Nope, there's Codsworth. I'm running out of action points here. All right.
Uh, well, so much for that. I dare say I'm slightly well, so the plan, since he had used it, was to go up there. Sorry, Darkstar, we can't do that idea, at least at the moment. But tell you what, the next time we're through Lexington, we will we will try that idea. I was going to go up there and try that challenge of yours to see if we could uh, pull the uh, pull the power armor, especially since he had already now used all the fat man shells. But shit, that being the case, let's just go up here. See what else is up there. Since the ghouls all came down. Oh. Try that again. Except actually going inside this time. <laughs> nice job, Seraph. Okay, but then... Plus this will keep us from getting completely ganked. Ooh, that was good. We got some really good duct tape from that. Yeah, I made too much noise. Only. The problem is... So what happened was, I was sneaking, and then the raider saw me. So I tried just running out of the way. But yeah, when I ran for it to try to get out of the sight of the raider, you're right. All the ghouls then sort of congregated. The raider heard all the ghouls and the raider came to check it out. It just... It wasn't meant to be. <laughs> it just wasn't meant to be. But since I heard what the hell was that in a male voice, I'm guessing the raider was uh, female this time in the power armor. Yep. Jeez, I missed him. Got another ghoul. Got somebody up there. Take the ammo. Ah, machine gun turret. All right, that's it for that. Okay. Oh. Nope. Get out of the way, dog meat. <laughs> okay, grab it. Thank you. All right, and we leveled up. That's helpful. All right now salvage that what I wanted yeah darn it made too much noise boo so we could have come up this way but the problem is as you probably have guessed the turret is right there so it's really hard to make it up this way without the turret finding you but anyway the whole point of that was I wanted to come over this way anyway because this is how we want to sneak into Corvega it's a much easier way of dealing with that. Okay. So like, ooh, we can do Black Widow now. That's always a good choice. We can actually upgrade Locksmith. I mean, there's Riflemen that will want to start doing at some point. Uh, agility. We just do a general agility boost. Scrapper. Ah, uh, right. Yep, this is what I was talking about as far as Scrapper, because this allows us to get screws, aluminum, copper, and the more advanced one lets you salvage rare components like circuitry, nuclear material, fiber optics, uh, and then you just get more from salvaging. So you at least need this one to get crystal from laser muskets, but I think you need the, the second rank of scrapper for that. Let's see. There are a lot of really important, so we could also pick up local leader now and be able to do the supply lines. I just think it's a little early for that. I'm actually kind of inclined to go the Black Widow route here. Uh, but you know what? Let's let's do the expert locks. We see them a lot. And we do. We, we do. We see lock. We see advanced locks all the time. They're not essential, but there are so many things that are hidden behind locks. Locksmith is one of those perks that's just really good to have. We're going to let that... Come on, ghoul. Go investigate that. Yep. Cool. Thank you. So yes, you can shoot the lights. That is very helpful. No, no, no. Do not drink that water. I'll 
see anybody coming down. Good. Okay, we can investigate this. One dead raider. Mm, at this point, I've got enough Molotov cocktails. Pick up the telephone. Yes, we are. Yes, I am. <laughs> Let's see. Nope. It's this way. Oh, did I go too far? Nope, not far enough. What about? Yes. But yeah, sorry, Dark Star. I tried, man. I tried. Fucked up. So Lexington, let's take it. Lexington's ours. Fuck yeah! Wiped out the ghoul swarm without losing anybody. Jared is setting us up for uh up in the big car factory for now. So, swept through town again today. Grizzle and I each took teams and flushed some of the ghoul stragglers out of the block of apartments. Already got my eye on a nice one on top of the building. Been waiting, wanting a place like that uh, with a view for a while. So great. Now we know that there's an apartment building that has some raiders in it. Uh, we need another target. I've asked Jared for another turret down here. He says he's working on it, but ain't convinced he ain't just blowing me off so he can get back to playing with his chems. We need another turret. And they're right. This pipe access into Lexington has been great for us so far, but if we don't defend it properly, it may as well be an open invitation for anyone looking to get in. Like me. <laughs> Grizzle and the boys almost got us killed the other day drinking down here, making all sorts of noise. Uh, a bunch of ghouls didn't want to miss the party and stumbled in through the pipe. Luckily, the boys can hold their liquor and we're, uh, yeah, hold their liquor and we're able to shoot straight. And let's see, Jared. Still haven't gotten our other turret down here. Jared needs to get his head out of his ass. Been pouring way too much time in caps into trying to figure out who this site thing. When what we need to be doing is securing this place. I'm going to go talk to him. Grizzle says I'm just go uh, going to make him mad, but someone has to make him see reason. All right, so we got that oh and while i'm thinking of it let's go back into our holotapes let's play josh's holotape i came back yesterday with emma everyone's gone looks like they left in a hurry and had one hell of a fight found corpses everywhere emma and i searched for anything they might tell us where they went the only thing we found was anthony <laughs> all right so i think i could be i think i could get to this guy as long as i can get through on un, uh unseen here the problem is this spot right here it's hard to get by ah yeah well shit all right fair enough <laughs> since they're right there uh guys let me run back here someone should show up for that there now. <laughs> yeah you're right you're probably right you gotta cut down on the jet i guess it was literally an explosion this is gonna be fun Fuck. i missed him oh No, nope, he was smart. He ran around that side to flank me. Fucked up. Did one of them say Nisha was right? That's wild. I'll have to go through and listen to that again. Because Nisha is one of the uh, raider gang leaders from Nuka World. So that would be pretty cool if it, one of them did say Nisha was right there. So yeah, Josh thought uh, they were going to able to recover the one dude's body, who was probably in the parking garage. We found him, but uh, yeah, they they fucked up. They fucked up, and they could not, in fact, get to that body. Uh, yeah, just one. But hey, we'll take it, right? Moving on here. So we got to just be careful. Take the stim pack. Take the stim pack. We will open up the chem box. Get some XP doing it. Let's see. Nope. The other way. There we go. Got it. Take that. We blew up. <laughs> that also exploded. Got everything 
here. Cool. Okay, moving on down. Also, things will get a lot easier for us once we get a silenced weapon. Thought somebody was going to come looking for it and have to run through fire. That did not work. Fine. Where is it? Where are they? There you are. That's time. Raid inbound. Ah, uh, very good. Uh, I think we just got one. I guess Kara's on his way. Yep, that sounds like it. Yep, in his carriage it's too. Greetings, Kara. How are you, buddy? Where is this? You got us at an interesting time. We're in the middle of a firefight. How did V Rising go? <laughs> How is everyone? Let's see, is anybody else here? Oh, we got everybody? Okay. <laughs> okay. Now that I don't need to worry about that. Uh, spoiler, good, starving. Uh, going to start making dinner. We'll be back shortly. Ah, good deal. Excellent. Ah, Ghosty, thank you for getting the shout out. I was literally just about to pause to do shout outs. But appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Uh, do me a favor. Can you, uh... Sarah's not used to having ad breaks, so the warning was justified. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> I think we just had an, uh, an ad break, but, um... Yeah, unfortunately, Twitch is not yet good at telling me when it's going to do an ad break. It just tells me after the ad break has started. It's like, hey, I'm running an ad now. And I'm like, motherfucker, you should be telling me like a minute before you start that it's going to do it. <laughs> so yeah, no, I appreciate the, uh, I appreciate the warning. I could also run an ad break anytime I want just to kind of delay it a little bit. Uh, oh, are, so you guys are, oh, so you guys are getting the advance notice, but I'm not. <laughs> that's, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. So I could set it to 10 minutes. Uh, or five minutes for that matter. But I wanted to set it to one minute because if I set it too far in advance, uh, I'm worried that that uh, once I see it, then I'll forget like what the time is because I could look at it and be like, all right, look over at the time. Okay, that's what it'll do. But um, so that's funny that you guys see it and I don't. That's that's super awesome. Uh, Twitch is a great platform, but man, Twitch doing Twitch things. So when you see the notification, does it give you a, like a t countdown? Like, does it go away? Or, uh, cause that would be awesome. Then I would just set it to like a five minute warning. That way I could see it like going down and then I could be like, all right, cool. Well, <laughs> we're going to go for a break and I'll, I'll grab a soda. Like that would be the perfect time to do that. Right. That would at least be the idea. But, uh, anyway, eh, we're, you know, living and learning, living and learning. Pick up a cigarette. Oh, that's always good. Let's grab this. But yes, welcome Raiders. It's a blue box that pops up when one is coming. Yeah, yeah, that'd be that'd be nice, Twitch. Uh, if you could start working correctly, that'd be that'd be super awesome. Seraph would appreciate that. We already have a silk made. Um, so yeah, I probably just have to go in there and tinker with it. I'm wondering what, or I have it set correctly and it just decided not to do it. It's not like that's never happened before, where something's just supposed to work right, um, and doesn't. But uh, yeah, I'll take the tin can. That'll work. Research test tube. I did set uh, the amount down, so now it doesn't do like that ridiculously long break. Uh, hey, Nikki, how are you? Uh, enjoy dinner. We'll 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 probably be streaming when you get back. I we look forward to your return. Uh, yeah, shit, not working properly. That never happens. <laughs> I know we just gotta roll with it. It's I mean, come on, right? Like, I I it's not like it's a service that I pay them for, right? Uh, like they're there. Like, without them, I wouldn't even be able to do this. So, like, I'm not, um, like, I, I have fun with it, but I'm not, like, legitimately irritated or anything. It's like, it is what it is, man. It just, it, it is what it is. Now, is there anything over here? No, there's nothing over there. Let's take a look now. Okay. So, resuming our course here, we've already chewed through 50 freaking uh, rounds of 10 millimeter. Somebody needs to go through and board up every crack and opening they find in the place. Anyway, gotta get going. Good luck. You scared him. <laughs> I wanted to listen to their story before they uh, then came over. He's gonna come over in a second. That's the end of him. 
But yeah, since they were talking, I do like to hear the raider dialogues when I can. Uh, it's unfortunate when I'm kind of got the jump on them and then uh, kind of miss the dialogue. Uh, yay, I'm in the car. Hey, cool story, bro. <laughs> right? Uh, but yeah, I don't take the, the extinguisher because it's just too heavy. It's like six pounds. Uh, we'll take that. We already have a shotgun. Perfect. Okay. We will come over here. We're going to close that door so they don't see us. And then we'll cruise back up here. Uh, that's why I have subtitles on always. Oh, yeah, that's right. You guys like subtitles. Do you want me to turn the subtitles on? I can, I can do that. I just, I prefer gaming without them, but I forget. Other people tend to like those. Uh, say things you could barely hear. We can do that. Let's, uh... Dialogue. Subtitles. General subtitles. We can do that. Gonna be a raider. No. There's not gonna be a raider. Yeah, that's going to drive me. That's going to get on my nerves real quick. <laughs> that's all right. I will deal. <laughs> We don't need the sack hood. We'll take that. With me, huh? on, ah. Psychopaths. Here. He's over here. Or they're upstairs. I'm pretty sure he's over in this room. No, oh, maybe not. All right, cool. Okay, well that settles that. Yeah, we'll take the battery clipboard. That's nice and light. We like wood. Same reason I like grabbing the pencils. You get one wood for a pencil, and they weigh like next to nothing. But yeah, the, the typewriters are just too heavy at this stage of the game. Even though I can offload it to, um, and we didn't come through this. <laughs> but you know what? Yeah, pencil is good. You know, fuck, fuck it. I was just talking shit about not grabbing these, but yeah, we'll grab those. We'll grab the typewriter. Now that we've cleared that, let's make sure there's nothing valuable in here. Nothing particularly valuable. Scissors. Okay. All right, those guys threatening me were upstairs. I thought there was one more down here, but I guess not. Yeah, I'll take my Molotov cocktail. We'll cover that camera. Okay, back up this way we go. Ooh, light bulbs. Sweet. Light bulbs are awesome. Hmm. I don't remember how to throw them. There's a specific button to throw them. I guess I just don't remember what it is. Okay. So we don't even have to go that way to kill those raiders. So I'm going to just avoid them entirely. Go up this way. Grab beer bottles. Aluminum can. Yeah, we'll leave those. Come on. Thank you. That's the only problem when you got a bunch of these guys. I've been craving pizza all week, so I brought them frozen DiGiorno pizzas. Uh, the reload button is the throw button. There we go. <laughs> That's right. And you could use that to uh, end up um, like distract. You can use that to distract enemies, too. All right. So one thing we will do. We are going to go up 
frag mine down here. That way, in case we do get some, uh, when we start making some noise up here, in case any raiders decide to try to uh, follow us, we don't have to worry about them coming up on the stairs without us hearing them. <laughs> All right, let's go in here. The jet will make it jittery. Yeah, I think she was right. Scared, huh? I don't you see anybody up there. Picking up hostile life side. You at least take out that there? turret. Take out that spotlight that would get us. I think I'm going to hit it from over here. Oh, God damn it. Where is that? Oh, this is the terminal. Since we got an ad break, let's hack the Protectron. B, do, 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 CD, nope, that's two. Heavy would be maybe. Okay, so it's not Y. Let's see. Sight, maybe. Nope, fucked up. All right, so. Hmm. Oh, right. Hmm. There we go. Dud removed. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, okay. That's it for that. Hmm. Still don't like the idea of going through this, but whatever. Boy, thank you, Kara. I do appreciate that. I figured while we were on an ad break, because it tells me when it starts, it just doesn't warn me before it happens. I wish it would. I wish it would warn me before it happens, but um, <laughs> but it doesn't warn me before it happens. It only tells me when it's doing it, and I'm like, you know, that's not that's not helpful, Twitch. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. God, it's you know what? Fuck this. We don't need to mess around with that. that thing. What's all this then? Again, all right. Got rid of the turrets. You have a couple of guys below that hear us out there. No need to hide. I'll be over soon. You might not be able to read. <laughs> See, here's the problem. These are all explosive. So depending on these guys, if we go up there and hit that button, if they miss and hit those, they tend to uh, hit us. Damn it. Oh, run, run, run. We're getting hit. <laughs> let's, uh, let's go drink some purified water, get some of our health back. Kind of why I wanted to get the stupid Tektron up and running. Hey, dog me, get out of the way. Get this back up. Bug it off, eh? That won't come on out. Not at I'll make all. it nice and quick. Hmm. You can trust me. Run out really? Is that all you can muster? Damn. There we go. Perfect. Let's try and get this guy. Nice. Try that again, this time without the oops. Got him with that. 
<laughs> Got him with the Molotov cocktail. All right. So you might not be able to dismember people in Starfield, but nothing quite like eating a space pirate off the roof of a kilometer tall building on a 0.3G planet. That is awesome. <laughs> All right. So yeah, I definitely wanted to avoid coming up here. I have been up here. Jared or his crony have missed me hit those things and you just die and it sucks. Well, we're up here. Let's raid their corpses. Here's this guy. Crispy squirrel bits. We'll take that. And then Jared over here. We'll take the metal left leg. Grab Grognak the Barbarian. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks permanently do plus five damage. Here's Jared. Yeah, we'll take the Cory Vega safe key. And we'll read Jared's terminal very briefly. Yeah, I really wish it would warn me beforehand. <laughs> I just wish I could. Oh, well. Uh, so anyway, the old woman, she used to huff, just huff some jet, pop some pills, and then she'd start babbling, spreading vision after vision. And they all turned out true. The raiders burning the town, killing the parents, stealing the kids. If I could get that sort of power, that sight, the Commonwealth, the other gangs, no one would have a prayer. So yeah, Jared knows all about Mama Murphy and her sight. And so, thanks to this, it's not the chems. They're just a trigger for the site. It's me. I'm the problem. Wish I'd realized it before my arms looked like pin cushions, but at least it's a new lead. I need subjects. And then, of course, she's here. Grizzle says there's a caravan headed this way. Some joker in a cowboy hat with a laser musket, three civilians, and one frail old woman dressed like a fortune teller. It's her. I know it's her. I sent Grizzle to collect her. I wonder if she'll recognize me. Of course she will. She saw this coming, after all. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, that's why the raiders were, uh, attacking the Minutemen. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. We'll take that, because the physics engine is going berserk. Let's go in here. Uh, ooh, well, yeah, we're, our energy defense is already pretty good. Let's bolster that. It's a net positive. Same thing. Yeah, the left leg is slightly better energy-wise, but way worse defense-wise. So no, these are these are not good choices. We'll just keep that. A buff to something that will likely uh, never likely be done in this playthrough. Uh, <laughs> a buff to something that will like never likely be done in this playthrough. Are we talking about the energy uh, damage resistance? No, I'll be I'll be playing with some energy weapons. Oh, the magazine. Yeah. Um. No, not not necessarily. Uh, because. Once I get a decent melee weapon, yeah, I'll be trying to. Whoops. Light him up. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, right now we just have this switchblade, and the problem is the switchblade just stinks. Uh, but once we get a better melee weapon, yeah, I'll be I'll be doing some uh, some stealth melee melee hits. But yeah, very very unlikely to be a prominent part of this. So yeah, keep out. Here's the cave, uh, safe. We have the Corvega safe key now. Yeah, we'll just take this. Cutting fluid is pretty nice, but yeah, it's just some hems and some weapons. Kind of disappointing for a stash. Okay, so now we have a choice. We could just leave, and I think that's what we're going to do because we're still not quite tough enough to go outside and make our way to the roof to get the... That uh, you. Ooh, what was that? Oh, back of cigarettes. Woohoo! But overall, your your comments legit. That's it's pretty true. We're not gonna we're not gonna do a whole lot with melee. It's not really a melee build. But um it will have some effect later. Sometimes. <laughs> Especially when I need to uh kill something quick. I'll go into vats. I'll specifically trigger the uh, critical hit so it does a little more damage combined with the stealth damage. Oh, yeah, we'll we'll be able to mess some things up. Oh, is there yeah, we missed that can earlier. Oh, and a beer bottle. I guess I was worried about something shooting us from uh, above first. But just like that, we're good. So now we go back to uh, and I'm going to fast travel. Who's that? Oh. But 
one of the raiders must have just heard me from all the way down there. Oh, no, that's what, no, that was Nade. <laughs> hey, Nade, what's going on? It's not a raider, it's Nade. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Greetings. How's your weekend going? Man, oh man, the night sky is beautiful. <laughs> and Corvega especially is beautiful at night. Now granted, we can't get too close to it because the, the all these fucking raiders will see us. But um the game the game does does look really nice. Alright. Uh so I just said I was gonna fast travel, but let's see. Yeah, let's just let's just fast travel. We'll just go to Ten Pines Bluff. Let's fast travel. Oh, and it tells the mod tells us the arrival time. That's pretty nice. Sweet. Worried about something shooting me a dark th <laughs> We could have navigated our way up there, but just for the sake of brevity, let's let's turn this in and we'll go to uh we'll go to Preston. And then we'll deal with all this. Settlers asleep. We'll wake them up. <clears throat> <laughs> That's an interesting uh, subtitle there. I think there's only one melee weapon I used with any bit of regularity in this game. You find those raiders? Yep, I kicked their asses for you. Yeah, I kicked their asses for you. No kidding. That's the best piece of news we've had around here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. So, we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. No problem. I'm guessing you're talking about Throat Slicer? <laughs> At least that'd be my guess. Quistus vibes, huh? I'm not actually familiar with Quistus. So here's another settlement that doesn't have shit in the way of turrets. Good, and we can build a couple of turrets here. Good. So at least we'll be able to build a few here before we get away. So we can, yeah, you know what? We'll build, we'll build three of these guys up. Oh, we got a, got a roach of some sort. Oh, he's a little fucker. Guard me, get out of the way. Mm. Why the turrets didn't... What the fuck just shot something? <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> what the fuck just shot something? That wasn't good. Uh, yeah, we can't do that. Uh, yeah, we'll just put this... I can't mount this up here. Nope. Can't mount that up there. All right, we'll just put this over here, I guess. Call that a day. Scrap that. Okay, we're not going to get too into the weeds on someone building this thing. But, uh, yeah, man. Beautiful sunways. Uh, for Final Fantasy. Oh, Final Fantasy VIII. Yeah. Yeah, I hear you there. Are you talking about my character? Yeah, my fa absolutely my favorite. Yeah, that's right. I forgot all about Quistus. Oh, my God. How did I forget about Quistus? But you're right. She was my favorite. Uh, it was art. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I wonder where that explosion came from. Something threw a fucking mini nuke at something. You know what? That may have been Boomer. Oh, you know what? That was Boomer up here shooting something. Yeah, fuck that guy. We're, we're heading away from him. Yeah, Quistus had a great look. I assume, but I assume you talk. Yeah, you know what? I could see that now. I could sort of see that. Well, we'll go third person for a little bit. I usually don't do third person but we could do we could do a little third person here especially since we dealt with the mole rats the exploding mole rats I'm not down we're not gonna go to uh, the quarry there that's an interesting quest that we could do Fine, since we got the XP for getting too close to it. That was not my intention, because what I want to do... So let me explain the rationale to that. I didn't want to, because uh, what I want to do is get Piper's Gift of Gab 
first and then discover all these places. But this is a nice early quest that we could do for some XP and it's pretty uh, pretty safe to try most of the time. Here's the ticket excavations. Let's see. I don't really see anybody here. Where is our friend? Must be still asleep. Oh, nope. There you are. Hey, buddy. Hey there. Looking to earn some cash? I could use a hand here if you're all done talking, you know. I could probably help for a few caps extra. I was going to give you something anyway. 75 caps for your time. Not sure if I'm up for it. A couple more caps might change my mind, though. Just had to push, didn't you? 50 caps. Take it or leave it. Damn, I'm really having a hard time with these persuasion attempts. I've had some really bad luck with that. Usually I do better than that, but oh well, whatever. What do you need help with? Now, the pump isn't in top shape, but it should at least start. There must be some leaky connections flooding me out. Think you could fix them? The leaks will be underwater. Look for bubbles, and you should find them. That's all right. Would have liked more caps, but I would have liked the XP more. It was really about the XP. All right, so now we're going to go back down because I need to be able to see where are the bubbles. Bubbles are here, right? Yep, bubbles are here. Okay. There's that. I went too. I went too far down. Here. I remember this quest. The damn thing autosaved when I was like one second from drowning. Oh no. Oh no. Uh. Damn, this water is so murky that it's hard to see uh, the water. All right, so yep, there's, there's our so, bound to be around here somewhere. Nope. Too far down. Damn, we're really having a hard time. What is going on here? I just went too far. Yeah, I knew once I went down that far, I'm like, I must have missed it. Because you shouldn't have to go down that far. Boy, we're getting a lot of... There we go. We got it. Perfect. All right. Now we can get the hell out of here. Get some rat away. Come on. Get out of that water. Get out of that water, Violet. <laughs> okay. Aid. Yes. Medicine. Right away. <laughs> boy, do we need right away or we're going to have some serious radiation sickness. Oh boy. We didn't even get rid of all the radiation chat. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, we'll take a blood pack. Let's at least heal. Yep. All right. And we're now back and healed. Cool. We got a sunrise. We've sealed your three pumps. Wait, where did Sola go? It's just up here. Where the hell did that guy go? He couldn't have gone far. Well, while we're doing that, let's go check this out. No, nothing in here. Fine. Oh, there you are. Hey, buddy. Hmm. What if I redirect the flow through here? <clears throat> That's a ticket. You do the honors. Hit that switch on the end of the pump. See, I wish I had checked uh, my PS4 screenshots because I had some really really amazing settlements on my PS4. Fine. Head. Let's just headshot this fucker. <laughs> That'll be the end of that one. Where's the other one? Okay, more? I think that's all of them. All right. Meyer looks. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that stirred him up. Anyway, 
I still got some tinkering to do on this thing. Shouldn't be too hard now, though. Thanks for pitching in. Here's a little something before you clear out. There we go. All right, so we got 50 bottle caps. Not too bad. Would have been nice to get 75, but oh well. But yeah, not sure which was my favorite. Uh, Raymer a la Dahmer or the Contemplative Corpse. <laughs> Raider Aladamer is an interesting one, though. Oh boy. <laughs> Cigarette carton. Yeah, we'll take dirty water. That has its uses. Pick the chem box. Almost there. There we are. Nice. Pop out in Psycho. Perfect. Tool case. We'll pick that. Interesting. The terminal we don't have to actually hack to access. That's very interesting, yes. and you'll see why in a second. See why I think that's particularly interesting. So, uh, shipment log. And you can see all the shipments and all that. But, uh, play this tape. So, it allows us to see Sully's log. Great spot. Right, crew? I'd have no problem keeping this place locked down. Traders run close enough for easy pickings, but not so close that we end up skinned. So, problem is, you know, the whole thing's filled with water, though. There's always a catch. So, and now he's talking about how to tinker with the pump and everything else. I don't think it gives away the farm. Uh, yep, yep. And then he's just talking about all this stuff. But the first one kind of gives you a clue. He's a fucking raider, and he plans to use this place to raid, uh, to basically ambush people. So that's, that's not great. Uh, so what we could do is we could just shoot and kill him. But we're going to leave him be because there's going to be an XP farm. I'm going to take it that our uh, heroine Violet here is simply too naive to really put two and two together. You know, she might be thinking, oh, you know, caravanners will be easy pickings for like, you know, using it as a like tourist trap or something. Or uh, I mean, actually, it's there's really no other way to interpret that. It really, really isn't. But. I'm thinking she would just tell people, you know what, just avoid that place. So now we go back to Sanctuary. Oh, fuck. That's right. Mutated mosquitoes. Of course, I was running, so my action points are complete shit. Good job, Codsworth. Whoa, we got military duct tape, all those assholes? Sweet. Actually, you know what? We'll take the blood bug heroes. We're almost to Sanctuary anyway. We don't need to be too judicious in our wait now. We can just head back. We're almost there. There's one of the other locations that we can kind of go into. At this point, in the interest of getting on with it, we'll just keep going. <laughs> yeah, that's the workhouse, I think. Well, we're almost back. Good old dog meat. Yeah. Codsworth really taking up the rear here. Taking his sweet time. This part always hiccups a little bit. Yeah, you're almost there. Come on, buddy. There we go. You can do it! <laughs> and one of the things I like to do for this settlement when I actually do design it as a settlement, I usually don't mess around with the Red Rocket all that much just because it's so close to Sanctuary. It's like if I'm in the area, I'd rather just build up Sanctuary. But when I do build stuff at uh, Red Rocket, what I'll do is I'll pick up the tires, I'll bring it into the build area, and then I scrap them in there for the rubber. Thankfully, the tires you can pick up. One of the things we'll be doing at some point also is building a bridge over this area just to help make this a little more defendable once we actually start building more in Sanctuary. Now, last time I was doing a playthrough on this, I streamed everything. I even streamed, like, just the settlement building. Like, there were times where I just did a settlement building stream. Um, so this is probably... I'm not going to do that, but this is a good time to actually ask you guys 
did you like that? Do you, are you interested in just like, hanging out when I'm doing like a chill settlement building stream where we do nothing but really just kind of build a bunch of shit? Uh, I got the sense that people were into that, but this is probably a good time to be like, uh, yeah, actually, Sarah, uh, we, 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 we would really rather not. <laughs> but I, I imagine it's a good time. When we get into like more Minecrafty types of uh, streams. But anytime I would do that, I would just be like, hey, it's a settlement building stream. That way you guys know in advance. Because uh, when I'm doing settlement building, for the most part, I'm usually not doing a whole bunch of questing. Although, it's Fallout. We always get involved into something, rather. Yeah. You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. It'll get more and more useful as we get more allied settlements. Eventually, you'll have help wherever you need it. I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. There we go. I never really told you what happened to us. Are you really the last Minuteman? Maybe not literally. There must be a lot of former Minutemen out there who gave it up in disgust after the Quincy Massacre. But we were the last active group of Minutemen. And now, well, it's just me. What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by now. I was with Colonel Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. We were the only ones that came. The other groups, they just turned their backs on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead, so I ended up in charge of the survivors. We never found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended in Concord? <laughs> Sounds like it's a time for the Minutemen to vanish for good. <laughs> Actually, I've never done this one. Let's do this one. I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. I, I don't know the first thing about the Minutemen. That doesn't matter. The Minutemen of the last few years are gone, and nobody's going to miss them. We don't need any more petty politics or squabbling over resources or arguing over who has seniority. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Mr. Garvey is quite right, Mum. If anyone can unite the people, it's you. So at this point, and yeah, Maxi, do it! <laughs> Just do it! <laughs> at this point, for the roleplay purpose of the playthrough, I think at this point, our, our industrious and highly intelligent Violet, her gears are turning and she's thinking, well, this could be mutually beneficial because they need a leader, someone who knows how to run a bureaucracy uh, because any, any lawyer, you're usually delegating a lot of tasks, getting stuff done. Um, she had served in the military, so she knows about at least uh, chain of command and all that. And at this point, I'm thinking she's like, well, I can give that to them. And also, I need people who can be my eyes and ears in other places because I am only one person. What's more effective? Me running around this wasteland that I don't know, or if they put me in charge, I can have a standing order. Hey, I'm looking for any information on infant kidnappings. Standing order, keep your eyes open for this and use the Minutemen to funnel uh, you know, um, uh, intel reports in and essentially using that investigative apparatus to allow her to look in a lot of places that she couldn't before. And I could I could see someone in her position going, you know what, I will do that. Number one, because these people obviously fucking need it and the whole world is going to hell in a handbasket. But I could also see that very mutually beneficial relationship in, in this half a second here. Okay, I'll do it. That's the spirit, Mum, and one giant step in the right direction for the Commonwealth. Good. Good. Welcome aboard. 
I feel like this is a whole new star for the Miniman, and the Commonwealth, too. Don't worry, I'll be right beside you all the way, General. <laughs> That's quite a promotion you just gave me. The leader of the Miniman has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last minute man is there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. A settlement has asked for our help. Apparently someone's been kidnapped. We've got to show people the minute man can really help them. All right, and we need to go to Oberlin Station Can't anyway. Save a task, dickhead. I know it's silly, but I need a chair. Something with a nicer fit for these old bones. Can you do that for me? Hmm. Can't you just use any chair? Legitimate question, but that's fine. Sure. Be glad to help. Thank you. All right. Now that Codsworth admires me. Hey. Can I be of service? Codsworth. Take this. Oh, okay. I guess, uh, anything else for now? Are things all right between us? Never better. And might I reiterate, it's an honor to be chosen to accompany you throughout the Commonwealth. That was it. Robot right Butler is awesome. Oh. Okay, since the ad's running anyway, I'll be right back. <laughs> since it's running anyway. <clears throat> Good grief. Oh. <laughs> Okay, everybody's back. Cool. Yay, everybody's back. <laughs> Sorry about that. I saw it go to the ad and I was like, all right, this will be a good time for me to to uh, to go grab another soda. Yeah, I know there's a setting in there to warn me. I must have toggled it, but then not saved it. It's the only thing I can think of. There must have been a save button in there that I just didn't hit. But that's okay. Sorry, we didn't miss anything because Codsworth didn't have any dialogue for us. And that's what I was looking for. Did we already dump all of the trash? Oh, we did. Yep, we did. Cool. All right, but since we're here anyway, let's build her her stupid chair. Can you just take any chair? <laughs> wow, we can build 47 of these things if we want to. Perfect. There we go. All right. Now, let's also take a look. Let's level up. Now I'm actually registered. Okay. Yes, clearly we need to do Black Widow because I need to be able to freaking get taps out of people. And now Black Widow, at least men, will be much easier to persuade in dialogue. Cool. And once Mama Murphy sits down at it. Oh, shit. The trash can Carla. Carla's already leaving. No, no, Carla, don't leave. Don't leave. Let's go here. We need to go. Purified water. Take all the purified water. Okay. So one of the reasons we set up all that purified water is so that we can go. No, no, no. Do not run. Yeah. Yeah. Carla. Hey there. There we go. <laughs> yes, we are. See what you have. See what you've got. You break it. Nope. You buy it. The promen. Uh, actually, it was probably Codsworth that got in our way there for a second. Okay. So now we'll go and we'll sell all the purified water. And we just got made 96. So now we'll just go and see what we've got. Yeah. Uh, oh. Hmm. Uh wow, it's a lot, isn't it? Yeah, let's take let's take ammo because we go through ammo at a pretty good clip here. And well. 
really oh wow we got a lot of 38 holy shit perfect now we're making money well that works for us but in time what we'll be able to do yes we are codsworth yes we are especially in sanctuary uh one of the things i will be doing here so we need more water one of the things we will be doing let's go over here and let's build ourselves a second water farm second water plant because one of the things we do want to do is build a lot of water purifier god we can build a bunch of these that's excellent Powered. Excellent. Now we got a shit ton more water. Marvelous. Probably should build a couple of more turrets, though, just to prevent this place from getting overwhelmed. So let's do that over here real quick. Structures, wood, prefabs. Nope. Floors. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Apparently uh, wiped. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, yeah, that, that was as bad as I thought it would be. All right, fair enough. Yeah, we can do that. That'll work. That will work. Uh, I'll read your comments in just a second, Dark Star. Sorry, I'm trying to line this up, and it's not cooperating. There we go. That's... Yeah, that's perfect. Guard posts. We could build a lot more turret. You know what? Let's just build these turrets. Yeah, I mean, so I, I, in a similar thing, I don't think any of my pictures from my PS4 playthrough exist in any form anymore, which is just sad because I built some crazy settlements on the PS4, things that really shouldn't have been possible to build on that. So, uh, all right, so we're good here. We've got more water over there. Sanctuary is coming along. And now the next time we have to do some selling, we should have even more water to sell. And that's going to be a very lucrative business for us because we need money. Um, and especially now that I'm general of these Minutemen, not only that, but we're also going to need a more proper base of operations to kind of tie this all together. But, uh, all right, so anyway... Uh, bad news is I apparently wiped the captures from my PS4 already. Good news is most of the important ones are uploaded to... Fa okay, so before Sony took the functionality away, yeah. Uh, bad news is I had to scroll forever to find them because the PS4 didn't add them to a separate album. Oh, God, so you had to find the post of it. Oh, that's awful. I found the ones I was talking about, though. Sending them to via Discord. Nice, cool. Uh, no pics, no proof. <laughs> oh, and I see a notification on Discord already. Sweet. Yeah, I'll definitely be taking, taking a look at those. Yeah, it, it, it kind of, ugh, it breaks my heart that I lost uh, all of the pictures from my Fallout 4 playthrough. Because at this point, I don't have that console anymore. Um, I, uh, I ended up selling it to a, uh, I ended up selling it to a friend of mine. I gave him a friends and family discount, of course, but, um, but still, that, that console is now gone forever. So it's just, it is what it is. But that's all right. We're going to try and build some nice settlements in here. Assuming that I don't run into an issue like I did the last time I did a playthrough of this, where we had to start over like this. Because it is a bummer that we've had to start over, but that's okay. I think this is a better mod list than the one I was running before, because the one I was running before, I kind of experimented with a collection. I didn't even know what half the mods did. And, um, but anyway, this does seem like it's a much more stable mod list. I do like the look of it. I do like the textures. Everything looks nice. Yeah, except for the fact that I installed it on a slow... Fuckers. Shooting my dog? Wow. I'll let Codsworth finish you off. <laughs> oh, bastard. Oh, look at that. Left leg. That we should be, should be better. Sweet. Let's take a look. Uh... Found the screenshots from my very first Fallout 4 playthrough that ended up irreparably glitched within the first few hours. <laughs> it's sad that that's not like that. That's so common of a thing to, to have happened. Oh, wow. Uh, all right. So that's actually better. All right. So, yeah, we'll take that. We will take that. 
good grief. Oh, we'll definitely take the left arm. That's better. Right, I should have taken those. Mm, no, we're not taking the left leg. That's one of the issues. When it gives you the plus, it only means that one of the values is better. It may not necessarily be both. So this is a net negative of two. I'm not bothering with this metal left leg. What I should have done is broken it down over there. It's not a big deal. Uh, oh, right. We should go through the church and actually see what might be in there. But I don't think there's anything particularly valuable inside that church. And we're not going to do Starlight right now. I think at this point, the better option is to... I mean, we got choices, right? Um... You. I think the better option is to go to Oberlin Station, see what, who's kidnapped and where, and then proceed to Diamond City so that we could switch out, get Piper, and start working up Gift of Gab. Because Gift of Gab is so critical to do early. And then we can come back, once we've got her, and do some, some settlement building around this area. Then we'll, we'll start working on Starlight uh, Drive-In. We'll make sure that's a good base because just looking at it the starlight drive-in which is over there sort of in the distance we really can't see it from here but it's basically one big parking lot that's a raider Who's there? ah you dodged that last second headshot <laughs> since bats is going to be so shitty at that range Fucking raiders. I will take your ammo. Okay. Now, without any further ado with that, proceeding on course here. Okay. So now, we'll go back down. We're going to try to avoid as much trouble as possible. Because again, Diamond City at our level. Although, what level are we at right now? What level are we? We're level 10. Although, it's... Uh, uh, yeah. So we're level 10. We're actually almost to level 11. Okay, you know what? Level 10 is around the level that is... So we're going to Diamond City at about the right level. In my experience, level 10 is usually enough, as long as you're not careless or a maniac, to make it. Okay, there's nothing in there. You know what? Let me check. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't... Ooh, let's go in here and check and see if anything's in here. That's interesting. A fucking synth. <laughs> let's, uh... Let's go with that. You know what? Laser musket. That'll be the four. Is someone present? I knew. You revealed yourself. Shit. <laughs> 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 Man, I can just imagine poor Violet here, lawyer from, you know, pre-war. It's like, what happened? Did we just walk into Terminator? Like, can you imagine being, uh, <laughs> actually, an institute pistol? Let's see. Yeah, it does. I'd rather have the, the laser musket than these institute pistols. These institute pistols are kind of shit. Although the only useful thing is the fire rate. The fire rate is at least better. So the synths killed these scavengers, clearly. Yeah, we got another rad storm. It is what it is. So the first time I played the game ever, I didn't get a rad storm until fairly late. I was already in the ruins of Boston, and I, I still remember the building it was. It was the Four Leaf Fish Packing Factory. And, uh, yeah, I can't. don't think I can pick this. I can't pick that. I know where the lock is. We haven't gone there yet. But I know where the lock for that is. The key, the, yeah, I know where the key for that lock is. We're going to go south here. We're going to go south. There's really, really nothing else to do other than just kind of go through. <laughs> Man, those god rays look good. This looks so fucked up. 
course, now we're in the shadow of it. Yeah, the pebbles look nice. Pick up over there. Just a couple of rad roaches. We'll leave them be. We're not going to mess with that. I did take some damage from those scents. Perfect world. We just kind of stay under the radar. We'll just go down the road. And one of the benefits is, even though our main character here doesn't really know the new commonwealth she still lived in the area pre-war so she knows where most everything is granted she generally probably took a lot of these highways and now looking at them it's like well i obviously can't take any of these highways because there are huge gaps in a lot of them that's a problem i'm not gonna go over there, but now we've got fire support and now we could investigate that if we so chose. Actually, we will go down this way because we're going to be nice to the robots over here because I want to um, I want to uh, level up Codsworth's affinity here and this is a good time. This is a good point to do this. Nothing's going to attack us. We should be able to do this. Let's take a look. Yep, Supervisor Brown. Bring me some milk fruit for seeding. And they'll be kept for your pocket. Off you go, Ned. <laughs> Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. This is the Commonwealth's first and only hydroponics facility, run entirely by robots. This place seems familiar. I... I think I saw a bit about it on the news back before the war. Construction was completed mere days before the war. We were able to survive and continue our operations only because our creator made us fully self-sufficient. You see, there are two kinds of robots here. The worker drones carry out labor and maintenance. We supervisors, that is myself, green and brown, possess sophisticated cognition processors. We are capable of complex analysis and decision-making. A testament to the genius of our creator, Dr. Edward Gray. I remember him. He was one of Rodko's senior engineers, but uh, more than a little eccentric. That's the second time you've said that you remember something before the war. I think you're a little confused, darling. You simply can't have been alive back then. Robotics and artificial intelligence were our creator's great passions, rivaled only by his love of television. Perhaps you've noticed that I possess a rather singular personality, as do the other supervisors. <laughs> great, just when I thought it was finally free of television. <laughs> Why did Dr. Gray give you these unusual personalities genius is restless darling it abhors stagnation dr gray was tired of the standard mr handy personality he looked to his favorite television characters for inspiration and we are the result a few other things you should know talk to green if you need supplies if it's cups you require brown might have a few or jobs uh, there's one other thing. <laughs> the question, really. Tell me, darling. What do you think of the water around here? It's awful. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically toxic. Just think what it must be doing to my skin. This will never do. I don't mean to impose, darling, but perhaps you could lend us a hand. What do you need me to do? Most of our water comes from the old western plant, south of here. Such an eyesore. Be a dear and pay a visit, hmm? See what you can do. Maybe tidy up the place. It must be filthy. If you can get it working again, I'm sure I can come up with something for you. 
Now it starts as the quest. I thought Codsworth liked if we interacted with her, but I guess not. Oh, good. There it is. Codsworth liked that. Perfect. That's what I want. We need Codsworth to like stuff that we do. I thought there was a... Nope. Okay, good. Good, good. Let's proceed. And now we cross the Charles for the first time. And that bridge tends to have some form of either raider or some type of bullshit guarding it all the time. It, I can't tell you how many times I try to cross that bridge and something attacks me or tries to extort me or some other kind of BS. So I, I've just gotten to the point where I just try to avoid it. And that's going to probably be a problem. Shame this thing doesn't have a scope on it. Yep, Alpha Wild Mongrel. Managed to get the shot off. There we go. Damn, that thing took a... That thing took a lot to kill. Shit. <laughs> All right. Well, let's level up again. Let's see what we got. We can't upgrade Sneak. We can't upgrade Gunslinger. And we can't upgrade Locksmith. Okay. Well, we could improve our endurance, I suppose. See, now I need to start thinking about... Well, actually, agility chaining would be good, too. Uh, now we need to start thinking about other things we need. Uh, we don't need ammo. Particularly, luck of five is usually adequate. Local leader might be good to get now. Just because there are no extremely obvious salute, uh, picks get for this particular yes, level. <laughs> Alright, so we, we like local leader here. Let's do local leader. Let's just do that. <laughs> oh man that's a that's gonna i think i think we have our winner for one that's gonna be used very commonly when seraph starts getting sidetracked it's like no no get on with it <laughs> so there's another one if for anybody who's who's watched monty python there's another part where the sun even goes get on with it i think i'm gonna add that one as like a higher reward one <laughs> it's gonna be great <laughs> Hi. You've got to help. My sister's been kidnapped. You're in luck. Rescuing kidnapped victims is my specialty. They said they'd be back for the ransom in a few days. If I don't pay up, they'll kill her. But I don't have that kind of money. Don't worry. I'll get her back. We asked the Minutemen for help, but I didn't really think anyone would come. Just bring her back safe, okay? All right, so where, where are we going for that? Ah, rescue settler from Backstreet Repair. Perfect. That's on, not even all that far. Good, good, good. We can we can work with that. So one of the things I do want to do is let's just undo that because I don't need the um, save, but I don't need that uh, nav marker visible all the time <laughs> uh fortunately i haven't uploaded too many uh oh uh so finding my great fallout 4 clips is a lot easier ah we are also going to need to explore vault 95 uh no 95 is in the low in the southwest the problem is if i get too close to that vault there's a yao guai there and i am probably not in a position right now where I could fight a Yao Guai. So we're going to avoid the Yao Guai. <laughs> that Yao Guai does like to hang out at the very top there. Okay. Now we need to get down into a crouching position to avoid a lot of... Because a lot of times what will happen is a super mutant patrol will be running around here. Super mutants are just constantly in this area. So I'm going to go up to this cover, this house. It's not really a house. It's a... Uh, trader shed but i could hide behind it kind of peek around and see what's out here make sure the coast is clear coast is clear good okay cool. pick this door 
I'm gonna go rest. Have an epic stream, friend. I will attempt to do so. Maxi, always, <laughs> always be excellent, my friend. Get a good rest, and I will talk to you approximately later. That's it. Take some glowing fungus. Uh, we definitely will take the day tripper. I don't think we need to do anything at the chemistry station. We'll take some silk bean because it's a very rare thing. We don't get it too often. We'll take the bobby pin. Oh, look at that. More day tripper. Uh, nah, I don't need cram. Okay. Still nobody over here. Good. All right. Now we, now we sneak over this way. And essentially for the next, for the next five minutes, we try not to die. <laughs> uh... So after years of uh, playing this game and doing multiple playthroughs, this does seem to be the safest route through. I'm gonna try, try going through this way. So if we go over that way, we're gonna we're gonna have a bunch of those bugs and shit. It's very difficult to get past those before they shoot us. But we should be able to make our way up on this side, crawl up over there. That's kind of what I'm hoping to do here. There, so at this point, crouching position, we can make a little bit better progress. Oops. Did not want to go in there. Looking for. Oh, a quantum. Should be over here. A bunch of skeletons. Oh, there it is. Yeah, typical for the Boston Ruins. So that was a super mutant. <laughs> super mutant suicider. <laughs> Sweet Jeebus. Apparently uh, made multiple videos about the various ways I dealt with the lag spike known as the Red Rocket Dog and Cat Rescue. <laughs> yep. Yeah. All right. Well, we'll get some uh, nuclear material thanks to that super mutant that just came through here and blew himself up here. I'm guessing that's uh, Diamond City and the Super Mutants fighting. We're going to be no part of that. No part of that. Okay. Nope. Nope. No one's here. Moo. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Ah, fuck. It went after Codsworth. Good. The super mutants did not hear that. Whew. Okay. Okay. We're still okay. We're still okay. We're still okay. We're still don't okay. <laughs> That's why I slightly misremembered it taking so long to deal with. <laughs> yep. Here we go. Okay. So now we got mass. This is the uh, Massachusetts mass travel area. So what we could do is we could go through this and go around the other end. Other end. I think there are a couple of ghouls this way, but nothing too crazy. And they're just down here. But then again, they might also just be inside. Yep, there's our... That's our only one. Kill that one. That's the best part about vats. It tells you which one is alive. Now we exit. We go over this way. Scalvaging these guys. Go over this side. Perfect. And we'll scavenge what's over here. Oh, the scavenger. <laughs> of course, the scavenger didn't do very well. But we will take these. This is excellent. Yeah, this was definitely a scavenger den. The problem is... Hero ghouls emerged, and that was the end of them. Nothing in the... Oh, yeah, I will take the chems in that box. We will definitely take the blood pack, and yay, money. We like money. Um, let's see, does uh, does the game still let, uh, still let companions have unlimited ammo? So, uh, the game never let companions have unlimited ammo, except with their default weapon. If you give them a weapon, that weapon is going to need ammunition. So, it, it depends on 
um, on how you're asking the question. But regardless, the ammo situation is unchanged. Uh, yeah, oh, Darkstar already answered it, and it was just getting to that. Yep, default weapon only. Uh, but there is a mod where if you give them just one um, uh, one uh, bullet, it will, it will be unlimited. Uh, I did not get that mod, but there is a mod that will do that. Come on. Ooh, perfect. Teddy bear. Teddy bear action. Come here, dog meat. Here's a cool thing for hey. anybody uh, that's playing here. If you give dog meat a teddy bear, he will play with it. <laughs> and he'll just continue to play with it randomly as we go through the playthrough. It's awesome. Uh, yeah, we'll take bags of cement because bags of cement are very valuable. We'll take the TV tuner tray and we'll take a look at these. Yes, aluminum cans are awesome. Okay, we're good here. And now we proceed on course for Diamond City. Then again, I think what happened was uh, for the PS4 to run to the flames, but the innate video capture would play back at normal speed. Oh God, that sounds awful. Okay, so there are going to be some raiders over here. Shit. I didn't see them, but they know I'm here. We know we each know each other's here. Ah, there you are. You're on this other side of that. Load. Boom! Headshot! <laughs> oh, fuck. Adds on. That's, that's the end of that. I don't see anything else. Let's scavenge real quick. A couple of fusion cells. Okay. Good pickings. I guess we'll try that. I don't think they're going to be good, but we'll try them anyway. Okay, everybody, welcome back. We just took out those uh, raiders here, scavenged, and now we're proceeding on. We see some. We hear somebody calling for help over there, but it's probably bullshit considering we just saw raiders on the back end of it so we're just going to avoid that for right now uh depending i think oh right uh well it's no different how sometimes it takes far longer for a computer to render a video than the length of the video itself that's true yep very common all right so at this point we should be this way perfect all right so yeah, we're going to avoid that blatantly fake cry for help. <laughs> we know she's full of shit, thanks to the raiders being on the back outside of that. And now we are almost to Diamond City. I'm sorry, but Mayor McDonough's really steamed, Piper. Saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny Sullivan. I live here. You can't just lock me out. Damn it, Danny. Open up! <laughs> You want into Diamond City, right? Real quick, before we get into that, uh, it just took about 10, 15 minutes to render those few seconds of slideshow frames per second. Oh my God. That's so crazy, man. That is so crazy. <laughs> I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. <laughs> right, Ghosty? <laughs> what, what's that? You said you're a trader up from Quincy? You have enough supplies to keep the general store stocked for a whole month? <laughs> you hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to 
make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. <laughs> Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. Mm -hmm. Piper looking good on this mod. This place, Diamond City. What is it? Oh, the green jewel? She's a sight. Everyone who's anyone in the Commonwealth is from here, settled here, <laughs> got kicked out of here. The big wall, some power, working plumbing, schools, and some security goons are what make Diamond City the big monster it is. <laughs> oh, love it or hate it. You'll see for yourself soon enough. Let's go. And now everybody gets to Piper, meet McDonough. Let you back inside. I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for Ooh, parts. Is that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Rightly so. A true medium for the people. Oh, I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, miss. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money, settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <coughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? <laughs> no, of course all the subtitles are goofed up. <laughs> Oh, man. My baby boy, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? You hear that, McDonough? Is Diamond City Security just going to stand by while a mother searches for her infant son all on her own? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. <laughs> Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. All right, let's try this now. We've gotten uh, Black Widow up a little bit. A mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Well, uh, there's uh, one private citizen, Nick Valentine, a detective of sorts who specializes in tracking people down, usually for debts or whatnot. No, I have to get going. I'm sorry, Diamond City Security doesn't have time to help, but I'm sure Mr. Valentine charges a reasonable fee. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates? I've McDonough's? had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> Not everyone can claw information out of McDonough's tight-fisted hands. Hmm. Why don't you stop by my office after you see Valentine? I think I just found the next story. <laughs> and that begins this. Yep, and Cat has woken up and decided to play a little bit. Uh, sounds like a young water boost and he uh, mentions the name Sullivan Monsters Incorporated. It's been forever since I've seen the movie Monsters Incorporated. So, you're that traitor Piper was talking about. Something tells me she's pulled the wool over my eyes again. Am I right? I do remember enjoying Monsters, Inc. I didn't mean to lie, officer. It all just happened so fast. Uh. You're not the first one Piper pulled into a heap of trouble they weren't ready for. Thanks for being honest. If it were up to me, we would have just let the both of you in. But the mayor's calling the shots, and, well, you saw how mad he is. Anyway, yeah, he's pretty steamed. Welcome to Diamond City and all that. I gotta get back to work. <laughs> yeah, the boss was named Water Noose. Ah, uh, it might be the same voice actor. 
Otherwise, I can't talk to him. But, uh... Hmm. A random security guard, huh? <laughs> Might even survive to the end of the week. <laughs> so one of the things I may try to do is now go north see what might be what might remain of that fight between the super mutants and diamond city guards because the diamond city guards have some really good armor so depending on how that fight went i could go up there and salvage some uh some of the armor that's left i mean if we had waited for a while we could actually really and done a different build where we're actually like tougher you could go in there and charge ahead and the diamond city guys are like oh my god this dude's crazy you know either this dude or this chick is crazy <laughs> it reminds me a lot of Star Fox. Oh my god, these guys are crazy. <laughs> Isn't that perfect? Hey, kiddo. How are the paper sales? Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <laughs> <laughs> hey, pal. For your paper to newcomers, if the Institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Institute? You ain't heard of the Institute, lady? They snatch people up in the night and no one hears from them again. It's all in the paper. Better eat up before they grab you, too. Who's gone missing? Drifters, residents, stadium seat snobs. Seems every year or so. Someone's gone. And we all know why. So you better be careful, newcomer. The Institute is out there. And they'll grab you too. Like I said, it's all in the paper. I believe you. Thanks. You're a real lost lamb in the wolf's den, lady. <laughs> but now we've got the synthetic truth. All right. We've discovered the Diamond City Market. If anyone is one of those things, it's that secretary of his, her and her. Perfect hair. Mm -hmm. The mayor's secretary. Come on, Ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, yep. Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nicked McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Well, hello Looking there. For a haircut, the Another one of the, the poor and stupid of Diamond City come begging for table scraps? <laughs> Wow, there are no words. I don't care for your tone. Why don't you run along before I make a complaint with security? <laughs> I miss basking in your delightful personality. Do what you like, but I'm done talking to you. If you suck up to her, she'll give you money, but I, nothing's worth that. Uh, <laughs> cue in the guitar twang, right? Collection of clips I've got is some cold blooded shit. <laughs> Yeah, Mysterious Stranger is awesome. Let's take a look here. We've got uh, nobody here because I showed up really late at night, apparently. What time is it? Oh, yeah, it's like 10 o'clock at night. I want a robot butler. That's right. I've got an awesome robot butler. Do yourself a favor and just say yes. It's all he understands. <laughs> What are you saying? Yes. <laughs> and doesn't have anything yet. It's interesting. All right. So nobody here. Everything's just kind of quiet. Um, all right. So this being the case, let us uh, go over here real quick. Yeah. <laughs> There is something I want to do here before we start really getting into things here. I prefer to do it over here. Just try to keep it down.
Wow, the lag here is pretty crazy. Good to see someone new in the chapel. Diamond City treating you all right? One. Thank you. This your chapel here, Pastor? Well, that depends. I suppose I should say this chapel really belongs to God. But since I never get around to deciding which God in particular, I guess you could say it belongs to all of them. Now, if you ever need a quiet place to sit down and ponder the Almighty in whatever form strikes your fancy, we're always open. Now, he doesn't practice any particular religion here. Thanks, Pastor. Feel free to make yourself at home. <laughs> I bet. Happy to assist with anything you may need. Hey. Miss Violet. Hey, Codsworth. Can I be of service? Still not talking to me. Your thoughts? A fine decision, Mum. Or General, if I may. The Minutemen seem to be quite the upstanding group. All right. That's fine. Oh, nothing. All right, then. So what we will do is we will sit, because we get XP for praying. This praying thing works. Sen feel a sense of quiet reflection. If you're here to pray, <laughs> sit down and be quiet. All right, but now we'll have an interesting scene. Don't move, Sim. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear I'm not a Sim. Don't shoot, for God's sake. We're family. <laughs> Kyle, no! Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. <laughs> At least someone in this town did more than just stand and gawk. Officer? Nice shot. But I'm gonna have to ask you to step back. You got a mess to clean up. I understand, officer. I just want to know what happened. You got bricks for ears? I said get the hell out of here now. Damn, I'm really struggling with my persuasion attempts tonight. My goodness. Hey. My own brother. If you hadn't shown up, he, he would have killed me. You're safe now. That's all that matters. I'm, I'm not a synth. I, I told him. I, I kept telling him. Why didn't he listen to me? I, uh... I need a minute. What's Move everyone along. still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. Yeah, I've uh, playing this the first time. I didn't realize you could even do that. <laughs> uh, if you don't do anything, Diamond City will just take them out for you. Uh, yep, we'll clear the fuel goals in the mass bike tunnel. Well, let's see. Look at that. Sometimes you gotta wonder. Does anyone fight back? Institute has to have enemies, right? What? You mean those railroad? Quick. That's a fairy tale, man. They don't exist. Nah. I heard from my cousin. He knows a guy that works for me. They got a code phrase and everything. Follow the freedom. Newcomer. Huh? The hell is that supposed Talk to Talk to Habit at the wall. You're full of history. That kind of talk is going to get you snatched up by the city. <laughs> Look at that. There we go. This heart that uh, Mom and Murphy was talking about. Yeah, the Mysterious Stranger is an awesome perk. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the rain. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You're right. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude, but it's just... The detective... has gone missing. Picture on milk carton time? <laughs> Do you have any idea how I could find him? He disappeared working a case. The Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Hey, I'd love to help. But there's the small matter of expenses. Don't play games with me. Ow, man. I'll pay you if you find Nick. This is but it's brutal. Going to be 100 caps. <laughs> that 
That's the I've never had a playthrough where I've failed like this number of persuasion attempts in the entire I'll like playthrough, my word. let alone in one you like session. Spot. He's Bonkers. Wearing that old hat and trench coat get up. Please hurry. Good grief, man. All right, but the mysterious stranger. <laughs> Sightings of a man dubbed the Mysterious Stranger have been popping up sporadically across the old U.S. for years now. First case of prolific serial killer. All anyone knows is his M.O. Appearing suddenly, killing without remorse, disappearing without a word. The Stranger has no known accomplices, no clear method of selecting his targets, no calling cards left behind. Sightings range from the NCR all the way to the East Coast, stretching back decades. Now he's come to the Commonwealth. Last thing this place needs is another psychopath running amok. Uh, time to start pulling together the pieces to put this one away. Description, human male, one fit, <laughs> outfits vary, but most recent sightings describe a large overcoat and fedora. Guy is taste, I'll give him that much. One man, multiple men, a ghoul with minimal scarring, might explain the long passages of time between sightings. Appears and disappears suddenly, suggesting pre preternatural infiltration access uh, abilities, access to advanced cloaking tech. All but earliest descriptions suggest the stranger uses only conventional arms, making infiltration training more likely. Perps like this make me wish the Institute sprung for thermal detection before giving me the boot. Sighting locations. And here we go, old games. Commonwealth, Capital Wasteland, NCR, Shady Sands. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I failed a lot myself, but then again, my charisma is only like six. Yeah, I guess my charisma is, yeah, oh, I have, but I don't put many points into it. And I have that Widow Perk thing too. So yeah, I mean, granted, before we kind of got into the whole, like, get on with it thing, but, um, so my special, I've got a charisma of seven and I've got two ranks of Black Widow. Now, Black, Black Widow doesn't do anything against Ellie, but it should still have done something for the guard and, you know, uh, uh, the Diamond City guard. So, yeah, just bad luck. Our charisma is high enough. We're just we're just not rolling very well, because even if you have a high. So one of the things that would be would have preferred is just to have like a special stat need to be sufficiently high enough. And if it is. Then you could do the, the charisma check, but it is random. Now, if I really wanted to, one of the things I could have done is just saved before doing the check. I want to be left alone. All right, I will leave you alone. Um, but one thing you could do is save before the attempting the check, attempt the check, and if it fails, just reload and try again because it just it does a random roll and that determines it, and so. All of the all charisma does is give you like a boost to that roll. <laughs> save scumming like a motherfucker. Although we shouldn't have to save scum at all. I'm just doing it. <laughs> Why are you calling me that? Because of the blue jumpsuit you're wearing. You're a vault dweller. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what, I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper, I'm in. Good, let's get down to business. So I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? I love this part where she realizes. <laughs> My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. Wait, what? They boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? I have done that, Ghosty. It is funny. You can just do a complete asshole response run, and it is really funny. I'm still going to do a few, uh asshole responses because there are a few that are just like oh my god how do you how do you not in particular with uh amari that uh kind of come to mind off the top of my head which are just so so funny it's just very difficult to resist uh so yes i have it's not going to be this run but i have done that <laughs> yes i'm over 200 years old oh my god the woman out of time. So you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Let's see. Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, 
Rebuilding the world? It gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. We're definitely quoting that. Now I already know you're looking for your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? The Institute? Who are they? That, Blue, is the biggest mystery in the Commonwealth. No one really knows who or where they are, but their handiwork is all over. Synths. Synthetic people. Sent from their hidden labs to do the Institute's dirty work. Sometimes they even replace a person with a synth double. A little covert agent no one would ever suspect. Now, not everything that goes wrong has the Institute behind it, but there's always a chance. That's why I'm asking. They make synthetic people? That's right. There are two major kinds you have to watch out for. The first is an obvious fake. Skin looks like plastic, skeleton might even be showing. You see groups of them scouring the Commonwealth, killing people and scavenging what's left. I reported on University Point a while back. <laughs> Whole town got cleaned out. The second type of synth is the real deal. With skin, blood, <laughs> warm smiles and guilty glances, just like a good old fashioned human. So, do you think they could be involved? The Institute or one of their agents? Uh, Tale of Chill Kangaroo. I had to put that one on my own Discord server for posterity. <laughs> I definitely have to. I, I, I'm so looking forward to going. Uh, I see the Discord messages now. I'm definitely going to go through it and go through that. That sounds awesome. Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend as if it doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? Wait, people just ignore kidnappings out here? Um, but yeah, the first time I... So the first time I played this game, I didn't see this. We have the virtue of running into those synths out by the house that was um, just south of Trudy's Diner. So at this point, we're like, oh, yeah, we ran into a couple of those things. So those were Institute synths. Uh, but the first time I played this on PlayStation back in like 2016, and I hear this thing, and I'm like, oh, my God, Piper is uh, a couple of cards short of a deck. Like this, this lady's fucking crazy. <laughs> I didn't believe a single word. I just thought she was a kooky reporter and it was part of her character. No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll yep. see them again. Or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on blue. Thanks. That's everything. It's going to take some time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. So tell me, the world back then, what was it like? We thought we were safe, but we were just kidding ourselves. Everyone knew the world was going to end at some point. And then it did. Oh, there we go. I practiced law. A lawyer, huh? And what was justice like back then? I racked up 30 kills in my day. Trial by combat. <laughs> I made sure everyone got a fair trial, that they didn't get rolled over by the system. The guardian of the downtrodden, huh? Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where this story goes next. Now Piper's available to be our companion. Didn't get a level off of it, but we still got some nice XP. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? You sure you want to travel with me? Well, it's that or get back to writing the paper. I guess the paper can wait. <laughs> sure, let's go. Will do. Miss Wright. I, I trust you'll do your best to put the safety of my mistress before your own personal gain. Of course, Codsworth. <laughs> Jesus. Lucky for me, those two things go hand in hand. All right, we will send Codsworth back to Sanctuary. 
All right, so now we got Piper with us. I think Diamond City is still going to be asleep, but we can go to Backstreet Apparel, rescue the settler. Yeah, everybody's still asleep. Okay, let's rescue this settler. Actually, one. Actually, we'll do a couple of things here. Because we need to get Piper's affinity up as quickly as possible, and there are a couple of ways to do that. And there are a couple of things to do in Diamond City at this point anyway. So we're going to do those. Yep, we're going to go to the schoolhouse. <laughs> Time for a pop quiz, everyone. Aww. Mr. Zawicki, we had a pop quiz yesterday. And we've learned a lot since then, so we're going to reinforce that knowledge with a little quiz. But I'm tired. I'm detecting a high degree of fatigue in all our little scholars. Perhaps the quiz can wait? All right, you guys win. We'll do the quiz later. Yes! Hey. Do you know that radiation is why Brahmin have two heads? It's true. <laughs> ah, a new scholar come to join us. Let's test your math skills. What is 12 times 15? Oh, fuck. Uh, what did she just ask? I totally forgot the math that she asked us to do. Is it 180? That's right. I see your parents raise you with a respect for your education, family. It is important, yes? This thing called love, I hear the children talk about. I think they need that to learn. Yeah, I, I, I remembered it as I say. I, I, I kind of remembered it. Uh, <laughs> and I was like, right, 180. <laughs> oh, man, of course, now our ad is running. Uh, give that a quick second. Uh, and I'm answering from the unwatching side of an ad rig. <laughs> We only got a couple of seconds here. But, uh, yeah, this is going well so far. I do have to tweak the darn ad thing a little bit, but but we'll get there. We'll get there. Once once the ad is, uh, is, uh, is tweaked properly, what I probably did is I went in there with the settings and, um, a child and just fix it. Love you can give them. Oh, please do not get upset. Why is it when I talk about these things, there are always tears? I have one more question before you leave. It's not another quiz. I just, I don't get to talk to many adults. This love I hear about, do you think you can have it for someone, even if the two of you are very, very different? <laughs> Who are you talking about? No one. Just imagine one is tall and handsome and smart, and one is gentle but a bit uh, metallic. <laughs> If you love someone, hold on to them. <laughs> Tomorrow Good deal, Ghosty. We'll see you in a minute. I... Thank you. <laughs> you have helped me make up my mind about something. Is Edna, did you water out in the Commonwealth? All you of get the children who come That's here are like family told. to me. I'm so happy seeing you all grow and learn year after year. What about Mr. Zwicky? Is he like family too? <laughs> like a husband? I am... Um, uh, well, <laughs> we are colleagues. We spend a lot of time together, yes. Sometimes you go on field trips all. to the center. <laughs> Any USB port in the storm. <laughs> so you like to go around collecting junk, huh? You what? Role playing as a pre-war garbage man or something? <laughs> something like that. Officer. Good weather. Hope it stays that way. All right. So what I need is that. Bingo. We definitely want. Live and love. You've collected an issue of live and love. Robot companions permanently inflict plus five percent damage. <laughs> Need a Cleveland voice clip of Oh, that's nasty <laughs> Yeah, right Your country needs you Enlist <laughs> Alright, so we're We're pretty much good in Diamond City for the moment Let's head out Friday, finally. Oh, right Once my shift is over, I'm getting wasted at the dugout Yeah, I bet you are getting wasted at the dugout We do need to do a couple of other things In Diamond City first, while we were over here Oh, yeah, we may as well see this scene This this takes a moment. Everybody'll start coming over here. Yeah, everybody just woke up. And <laughs> now they're gonna come over here. But we'll talk to Abbott over there in a second. This won't take long for people to show up and we'll we'll just listen. We'll listen to him from up here. Everybody. 
Everybody, yeah, I need everyone's that. attention. <laughs> I would like to address the subject that is on everyone's mind. And that is the disgusting article Piper has written. <laughs> Diamond City has stood united for over 150 years. And what keeps us united are two things. First is the great green guardian behind me, the wall. Our protector and our savior from the filth of the outside. And second is our faith and trust in each other. The faith and trust that has given us prosperity, security, and education for every citizen. And while the paper might point their fingers at synths and other ghost stories to drive us apart, we will not betray this sacred trust. Now, I want everyone to hear these next words very carefully. I am not a synth. I am the same flesh and blood boy who grew up on these streets, who was born in a shack just down the waterfront to Martha and Patrick McDonough. And I will not abandon my city due to the heinous allegations of the press. God bless this city. God bless the wall. He's so full of shit. <laughs> I love how the residents are like, they just don't buy it. Regardless of whether it's true or not, like. Damn oh. sins, hiding among us. <laughs> not a good morale situation. Right, so now we're going to talk to Abbott. Working hard? Don't touch the paint. Don't worry, I won't. It's okay, Abbott. I got my eye on this one. Good. The wall keeps out the bad guys, so I appreciate you not messing her up none. Thinking you need a little education. Maybe a bit of community service. What do you say? You know, I never thought about that. I never thought about giving some of Pip Pikmin's special paint for this quest. Uh, now, I have done a couple of different colors besides green, and it's funny, but I've never tried uh, the special paint. I almost want to try that now, but I'm trying to... Oh, you can't... <laughs> <laughs> good, you saved me the trouble. Good, good, good. Because I'm like, at the same time, I was like, oh man, I'm, I'm now I'm tempted. So no, I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you can't. <laughs> Happy to help out. You see this paint I'm using? Only one place left in the whole Commonwealth you can get it. Hardware Town, rune store close by mm. to the west. Bring back a can of paint, and it'll be a hundred caps in your pocket. How's that sound? Paint retrieval. I'm on it. Much obliged. Yeah, the problem is if I ask for money, Piper dislikes it. Uh, and that's 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 a problem. We we can't have that right now. <laughs> we need to get Piper leveled up as soon as possible. So we're not gonna do anything she dislikes. At all. I may end up just downloading the mod that disables uh companion dislikes, but right now I'm trying to go for the most the most true to the game experience. Too busy to talk right now. I'm the mayor, after all. He's he's so fucking pompous. Yeah, thanks, thanks, McDonough. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that I'd want to do, because the problem is now if I go in, like if I go into the dugout just to see what's in the dugout. You eat that food. Only one thing worth buying in the dugout in, and that's the booze. Man's gotta eat. What can I say? A real Diamond <laughs> City boy eats at the noodle stand. I never saw that dialogue. <laughs> Interesting. All right, so let's get out of here. We could also explore up there, but we're not gonna we're not gonna get bogged down too much in the Diamond City stuff yet. One of these days, yeah, nobody likes that. <laughs> uh, one of the days, we will go back to Diamond City and we will do all the Diamond City quests. But um, in the interest of getting Piper leveled up, and also in the interest of heading back and getting our uh, Minutemen established properly, what I'm going to try to do is rescue this uh, kidnapped settler and then get back to where we were with Piper and just kind of level up Piper's affinity up in the northwestern corner of the map where we're appropriately leveled and just kind of go from there. Because the more time you spend with her, she will... I mean, any companion will. Any companion that you spend time with will build affinity just by spending time with them. 
although it's more useful to do things that they like. Let's head up this way and let's see if these guys are dead yet. Fancy vault suits. Those one size fit all. No, not one size fit all, though we could go in that area and uh, explore that. But again, I'm trying to discover as few locations as possible because once we get Gift of Gab, the XP we get for it is double. Like, literally. It's fucking awesome. Okay. Super Mutant's dead. Did Diamond City kill them all? Nope. Diamond City did not kill them all. <laughs> so we're going to be very, very, very careful. I don't even see any Diamond City bodies. Oh, there's one. But oh, man, no, that's a dog. That's a mutant hound. Yeah, there's no, there's nothing, nothing available out there. We won't bother. All right. Now at this point, we're good. Oh, damn it. I had access to a bunch of workbenches in there and I didn't go and break down the armors that I picked up. Actually, let's double check and make sure. Okay, well, that's and that's a no-brainer. That's also a no-brainer. Take that. Okay, but the rest of these are good. Okay. Improve our outfits. But yeah, what I should have done when I was over there is uh, broken them down when I had access to all the workbenches in Diamond City. Uh, found an old clip that serves as a cautionary tale when it comes to dropping way too many items at once. Oh yeah, <laughs> a makeshift battery spawned perfectly inside of an enamel bucket. Bucket Bethesda physics shenanigans ensue. <laughs> I can only imagine. Yeah, yeah, that could that could be interesting for sure. All right, none of these are worth doing at the moment yeah, i want to do this first let's see let's rescue the settler first i think because what we should be able to do is we should be able to fast travel once we get the settler oh fuck we should do hardware town you know what before we do that uh, all right no we'll oh yeah we should do we should do hardware town we should do hardware town fuck okay no, we should absolutely do hardware town that is true. Oh fuck, did I just go the completely wrong way? No, this isn't so bad. We'll go back this way. Okay, let's do Hardware Town. Hardware Town is the place where we blatantly could tell days, that uh, that it was a scam. So we're gonna go back to that really fast. We didn't go all that far yet. Because yeah, once we, once we do that, then we'll trade in that quest. Piper will like it. And then we'll rescue the settler. And then we'll fast travel the hell out of this area. <laughs> to not come back after a while. Get the latest issue of public occurrences. Okay, so we could do that. We're not going to until we go back in Diamond City. Plus also the next time we go back in Diamond City, there's going to be a neat a neat um, a neat scene. Move along. <laughs> At least I think it's a neat scene. Yeah, this is where Cricket will wait for us. Cricket is awesome. She's one of my favorite. Kill that Rad Roach. If we're gonna die. I wish it hadn't come to that. Yeah, we'll take the Iranian blood. I don't remember what it's for, but we'll do it. those there here's hardware town Hurry. She's in here. Please help. yeah you've been calling for like eight hours surely that's not a trap <laughs> surely this isn't a trap <laughs> That's because you're smart, Piper. Wait for that door to close. Hey! I told you to bring them in through the basement. Shut up, you rip. 
<laughs> I love this shit so much. This way now. Be ready. And I think what we'll do is we will switch to this double barrel shotgun. That. <laughs> it's taking so long. I don't know. Maybe you should go check it out. You don't think I will? That also reminds me. Go back to Molotov cocktails. Actually, no. Let's go to frag grenades. Things that aren't going to kill me. Is it three in New Vegas where you could put shop items into a bucket and walk out? Think three. There we go. <laughs> yeah, demo is uh no joke, man. That demo I just killed. I think it was demo I just killed. Good. That was demo. Yep, that was demo. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. That's a mo oh, that's a mod weapon. All right, Magnum autoloader, huh? The fuck is that? Ooh, it's a forty-four. That's a forty-four gun. Oh shit! Nice. All right, well that'll replace our forty-four pistol we've got for now. I don't think that's everybody here, but uh, yeah. Pick up all the caps. <laughs> Yeah, blew that. We blew this Raider Psycho's leg right off. All right. Uh, armor work perfect. Now let's scrap that. Scrap you. Scrap that. Scrap you. Scrap that. Scrap that. Perfect. Okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh, but to answer your question, Nate, I don't really remember. But that sounds like three. I don't think I need to do anything for that. The makeshift battery is just too heavy take the cigar box kind of wonder glue now we can just scavenge away desk fan office desk fan hell yeah this stuff's awesome there should be a couple of pans and light bulbs out here that'll be useful but thankfully we had run into the guys outside and we knew this was a trap <laughs> that was convenient while we're here, they mentioned something about taking them through the basement, huh? Oh, there's the basement. There's the one that I was looking for. Light bulbs are awesome. Ooh, I will also take that. I'll take the bones, too. Let's see what the story is with the basement. Now we got a couple of things. Oh, that's the exit. Fens, we could have gone in through there. We kind of skipped the trap, but we'd still have to deal with the raiders. And I think it's better when you have the raiders and you can set a trap up. Oh, and this is where everybody is. This is where everybody went who fell for the trap. <laughs> Whoops. And now all the spoils. We'll take corn, crispy squirrel bits. That's deck hide outfits. Now let's not take that. Finding anything in here. Rack's up cleaner. Anything else that they may have stashed in here. Look around. Yep, let's take the cap stash. That's usually the method I use to take care of all, uh, to take care of that trap. <laughs> also helps to know in advance that it's going to happen. All right, so blue, yellow, green paint, boom. All right, so now we got green paint for Abbott. And you can give him blue or yellow, and people will complain about the wall. It's actually pretty funny if you give him the wrong color paint. So for some reason, once he starts doing it, he just paints it. Even if you test paint it. We paint this green. They think we them. <laughs> oh, man. For people that, are, that were not there and didn't see that. Oh, my God. That is one of my favorite role-playing moments ever. Like... No joke. That was that was fucking amazing. 
It was just the fucking greatest. <laughs> oh man. And retail, I think I've told the story on stream a few times, but you know what? I may, I may not have. Um, was that, remind me again, Nade, was that exalted? I feel like that was exalted. But it may have been D&D. It may have been d, &D. Jeez. So, and I'm trying to remember the context for that. The exact context. Uh, but basically, we were trying to infiltrate this area, and we were worried that, um, we were just trying to figure out how the hell we were going to do it. Because these things, whatever they were, and I don't remember if they were orcs or, uh, or what it was, but, um, we were obviously worried about them finding us out and just killing us, clearly. And, uh, all right, so we will take the hardware town key. We're going to take picket fences because now we can build a high tech light at our settlement workshops. We're going to take the desk band because the desk band's awesome. And we'll take that. And now we will go this way. Unfortunately, we're not going to be good enough. Uh, at lock picking to pick this other lock and then we could go down this way. That. At least go in here though. And we'll go to a bottle cap mine to replace the one we got. We'll take a stealth boy. Ah, uh, it was orcs. Uh, that was dark matter? Wow, that was dark matter. Uh, goodness gracious. So yeah, that I can't pick. Tight. Nothing I can do about that. But we'll take this. We'll at least take these things. Okay. And we've got as much as we can here now. This is, we've, we've done everything we came here to do. We just can't pick that master lock at the moment, but we will someday and we'll be back for that lock later. Now we leave. We're going to go back to, that was my, the last fantasy campaign night. Okay. Right, right, right. And so I think the orcs were in the sewer or something. And so we're like, how can we go in there? And, uh, one of our players, uh, one of our fellow players, I, I, Nade was the one running the game. And, uh, oh, we got a, we got a sandstorm here. And, uh, yeah, we can go through this apartment. Uh, that's another area we'd have to explore and get through at some point later. Won't be now. We want to go through, not this way. We want to go through this way. And so, uh, so yeah, <laughs> for lack of anything better, we're trying to figure out how it's going to work. And lo and behold, yeah, we'll take Jingle's moon, moon monkey. And so, uh, so yeah, one of my fellow players just says deadpan and he's got this like Russian accent. So we always called him you know, like the Russian. And so, uh, so yeah, the Russian just says, we paint us green. They think we them. <laughs> and exactly that. Well, and we just, we just lose it. And it was probably late. That probably contributed to it too. Um, it was just, it was one of the best, funniest moments, uh, of gaming, but but he was right because orcs were also kind of dumb in that in that game setting. So after we laughed our asses off, then we thought about it and we're like, he's not joking, actually. Maybe we could do that. <laughs> now I think we came up with a better plan, so we didn't do that. Uh we did we did something else instead. I think. But oh my goodness. Uh yeah, oh my god. Oh my god. So yeah, in our in our circle of friends. <laughs> That quote comes up sometimes. <laughs> that's that's the context of that. Oh man, that brings back memories. So now we'll have a fun scene here. Ooh. Damn, my eyes are burning. Come on, work with me here. Once it's done loading. Every so often it will hiccup like this. Sorry about that. Once it's done, then it's done. It gets it out of its system. Darling, are you sure about this? I am not a normal girl. My dear. I only wish I had realized that sooner. Then by the power invested in me, I pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> Pastor? Been a while since we had a wedding. Man and a robot. Strange. But I don't think God will mind. Good pastor. 
<laughs> oh, let's grab this. Hey, Nat. Hey, lady. That interview you did with Piper is really selling. Here's your free copy. Oh, yeah. You know, we got this. So now we could talk to everybody in Diamond City. Uh, but let's go cash in our quest first. <laughs> the newlyweds. You helped me make a very big decision. Thank you. I think I know what this love is now. Hey, you have fun, you crazy dweller. kids. From the paper. Yeah, I am the vault dweller from the paper. But we can talk to some of the residents in Diamond City just to get Piper to like some of our dialogue. But I don't think she likes a whole lot of the dialogue. Anyway. Do, 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 do. Wasn't easy, but I found some. Yeah. Now that's damn fine news. Why don't you go ahead and paint the first stroke? Let's see how the shade matches up. We'll apply paint to the wall. Boom. Use green paint. Hey, Abbott. Mm, that's a good shade of green. The wall sure seems happy with it. <laughs> wall seems happy with it? Oh, God. <laughs> happy to help. It's been an honor. It's nice to work with someone who knows how to show respect. There's your payment and a little bonus for getting the right shade of green. Don't do anything with it I wouldn't do. You hate uh, this Abbott or a different Abbott? Hey, Abbott! I think you're talking about somebody. I'm assuming you're talking about somebody else. <laughs> and, not, and not this Abbott. This Abbott's kind of cool. A little eccentric, maybe, but... All right, yes, we always boost sneak because we sneak a lot in this game. Sneak is what allows us to survive. Uh, Men in tights reference. Oh, God, it's been so long. Oh, Medex. Yeah, we'll take that. Yeah, anything in the trash is now tr actually trash. That would be suicide. The bat was to hit his only defense as he ran the bases. Whoever had the ball on the opposing team would try, try to throw it at his head to knock him out. That's what an official out meant. <laughs> Amazing. I love Moe's like completely so bonkers uh, commentary. Oh shit, do I have a new Coca Cola? Please tell me I have a new Coca Cola. Fuck, I don't have a new Coca Cola. All right, so next time I come back here, I need a new Coca Cola. Who wants to look beautiful? Hairstyles from across the Commonwealth. All right, so we're gonna go. Let's rescue this. Let's rescue this settler. And then we'll wrap up stream here. Not that that late, but I don't want to be I don't want to be up too ridiculously late. And I don't want to what I'd prefer not to do is to start talking to people in Diamond City, start a whole bunch of side quests only to then, you know, end stream on that. Let's wrap up the one quest we've got. And then we'll do a settlement stream, settlement building stream next stream. Whenever that happens to be, assuming I continue playing this during the week or if I uh, start mixing in something else. But I don't I don't I would prefer not to be playing a bunch of games simultaneously. I do want to play E6 at some juncture. And start going, continuing to go through that series. There she is. Excuse me. Come on, come on. Your guns here. Small booms, <laughs> big booms. I got them all. So the only fortunate part. What kind of stuff do you have? If it can chamber cock and spit out lead, then I sell it. I sell slashers and clobberers too for those maniacs that like it up and close. From hot death flying faster than the speed of sound. Oh, maybe <laughs> I'm awake just from thinking about it. I'll take a look. Sure. Guns, guns, and more guns, just for you. I love her enthusiasm for firearms. <laughs> now we have a 44 weapon. Let's do that. Let's buy all the 10 millimeter we can. And yeah, let's sell the 38. Let's sell the 45. And shit, we're still we're still shy of things, aren't we? Uh, you know what? How many stim packs do we sell? Let's sell. Okay, we'll do that. We'll sell 15. It'll still leave us with a bunch of stim packs. That's a that's a good trade. We'll work with that. Okay. And let's take a look 
Um, so maybe, although the, the only problem is that Cyberpunk 2077, the 2.0 update, they, um, they really emphasized turning what was a really cool Cyberpunk RPG into GTA Night City. I'm not, I'm not a super fan of some of, of some of the changes and how a lot of the things now kind of play and work. It's still a good game, but it used to be a great game. So I, I, I don't know. I could though. I, I could legitimately play Cyberpunk 2077. It runs great on my computer. So from that sense, it might be neat to play, I guess. But um, yeah, let's let's equip the Magnum Autoloader, and we'll do that in. We'll do that in four. That will work, right? Because three, I usually. What is this? Three is, yeah, three is usually my rifle. And then the four you get will be this. Assume everyone's out to kill you. Gotcha. And now this is this is the new Desert Eagle. But I think this is a lore friendly Star Desert Eagle. Like hide in the dock. And I've got Next 26 call, rounds of it. Fight. All right, that'll work. So, I mean, maybe. If there's a lot of demand for it. Um, oh, fucking ad. <laughs> fucking ad, man. All right, so the ad's running. In the meantime... <laughs> For the subscribers, <laughs> I've got to go in there and change that setting. Oh, God. Okay. Let's, uh, let's be careful of the super mutants because I'm still not. I'm still not good enough. My character is not good enough at combat to be able to handle them yet. So we'll make our way over. Actually, that ad break comes at a good time because we're just making our way over to backstreet apparel and by the time we get there the ad will be over so and it ended up being okay that was decent timing but yeah i definitely have to go into the ad manager and tweak that a little bit i don't see it over here oh shit who's this are these caravanners oh these are minutemen all right garvey's recruiting sweet yes huh? hey hey general Fuck yeah, that's exactly right. Hey, General is right. Welcome back, everybody. We just found a Minutemen patrol. That was pretty badass. That was super badass. Uh, hopefully, I don't start getting into a firefight over there. You guys uh, try and stay alive. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, we'll take the subway token. Sure. All right, now let's rescue this settler. This should be pretty straightforward. Ooh. <laughs> right, right there. No need to hide. Can't hit it from here. Another shoulder. Iron. Take care of that turret. I was hitting it from over there. I just couldn't see. All right. So we take care of the turrets. Bottle caps. Yep. We'll take the ammunition rounds. Most importantly. Maybe I should take this missile launcher. Just so I have it. <laughs> Although in my experience, I usually don't use the missile launcher. It's usually just really fucking heavy. It's part of a trap. If you go over there, we could disable the tripwire. I'm not going to do that. I'm being chased by children of Adam. Hey, Pokey, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> we're still pretty early on in our playthrough, but we're having some fun with this. We're in the process of rescuing a um, rescuing a settler at Backstreet Apparel. We just picked up. Speaking of stories. Yeah, I have a few. Let me see. A couple years back, before I met Clutch, me and a couple friends found a young kid on the north side of the Charles. He wasn't that young, probably around 18 or so. Anyway. <laughs> 
After hanging out with them for a while, it started to get dark, so I built a fire. I kid you not. As soon as I lit the first match, the kid screamed, What are you doing? And knocks the match out of my hand. He knocked the match out of your hand? I love these stories. I'm telling the story. So, yeah, he knocks the match out of my hand. I was so surprised that I swung and broke his nose. He said he was sorry, and gets it. Said he was a of fire. Oh, he was afraid of fire? I just told you he was afraid of fire. You keep interrupting me. It's irritating. As soon as he told me that, I thought of something. I quickly apologized for hitting him and told him it's nothing to be ashamed of. That night, me and the others got this kid so drunk so fast, he passed out within an hour. We then dragged him to the banks of the Charles. We also dragged six or seven mattresses and tied them in a circle with one in the middle. Mattresses? <laughs> what did you need the mattresses for? Really? Did you seriously just ask me that question? It's a goddamn story. All you have to do is listen. So yeah, we tied all these mattresses together, and then we placed one mattress in the middle and put the kid on it. We doused all the mattresses with gas, except his, and then lit them on fire and pushed them down into the water. We followed the burning mattresses down the river, laughing our asses off waiting for the kid to wake up. After five minutes, we realized the kid wasn't going to wake up, so we all started throwing rocks at him. After a couple of hits, the kid's awake. At this point, the flames were huge. <laughs> Imagine what it must have been like for him, waking up, not knowing where he was, and all he sees is fire. The kid tries to stand up, but can't get his footing on the side of the mattress. At this point, I'm laughing so hard I fall down. That is crazy. Betty overcame his fear of fire. Huh? Trial by fire? Nah, he never did. Turns out the kid couldn't swim. Anyway, that's that. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> uh, sorry you didn't make it, Pokey. Uh, that's brutal, especially when you don't save for a while. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, I know there's a, an explosive in here, so we definitely don't want to... Shot him in the face. Now let's make sure there's the trip. Wire. There's the trip wire. Now where's the explosive that blew us up last time? Because <laughs> that happened once. For not to blow up again. Was it or was it not? Maybe it was just the shotgun that blew us up. But I thought it was an explosive. Maybe it wasn't an explosive. Is that a leather? Oh, farmhand clothes. <laughs> I think my. Uh, I think my favorite was walking to a raider camp in power armor and over here when I'm shout, you got a fucking minigun. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, Rove, I gotcha. <laughs> nice, nice. Uh, how you doing, Pokey? How's your weekend going? Always good to see you. So we got that. It grazed us, but nothing crazy. You all right, dog meat? Good dog. Right, now we check out this ball. Loot on you better be worth it. I was just thinking the same thing. The loot on them should be should be worth it. Let's through here. Take ammo. Play games with me, huh? Yeah, we're not gonna take stuff just yet. I like legendary creatures. Sweet. There we go. All right, here's our settler. Please, you gotta help me. I don't think I can get you out of here. No sign of him now. Hold on, I'll be back for you. Hold on, I'll be back for you. No, don't leave. Please, cut me loose first. Come on, it's over. Good luck. Just relax. I'll fucking relax or I'm ready to fuck. Problem is. Got it? All right. Now that we know where she is, we definitely want to clear this place first. Come on, turn the corner.
Okay. Got that done. Clutch, you are done. Wow, Clutch doesn't have any good shit, huh? You know what? We'll take that. Ooh, we'll take the metal chest piece. OQ, okay. That's it for that. This should, yep, cooler. So it's been meh. <laughs> We're almost there. Yes, good. We got it. I wish I could help in your situation, but I'm low on stems. <laughs> That's all right. We've got the situation under control. Ooh, we'll take that baseball. One thing we will do, take the desk fan, more money. We will pick this lock. Ooh, we almost got it. Probably about there. Nope. I went too far. God. <laughs> Hey, say you, Polestar. How are you, my friend? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> there we go. Right. Oh, you know what? We'll take that. Uh, and we take bones because they're they end up being useful later. It'll be a while before they're useful, but uh, but we'll get there. So let's take a look at apparel. Let's get a look at our armor. Mm, that's a net positive of one, so we'll take it. And the metal chest piece, yeah, that's that's definitely a better one. I don't like the weight of it, but well, actually, it weighs about the same. So yeah, we'll just go with that. Perfect. Now let's go in here. We'll break down that chest piece. We'll break down this, and we're good to go here. There. Once we get armor, we'll be able to um, we'll be able to. Uh, the timing. <laughs> yeah, that was perfect timing. <laughs> We're just about to... There's usually a raider right up here. Usually. Wow, there's not a raider. Must be at the top of these stairs. Not a fucking raider up here. Hear the footsteps. I wonder if the raider came down earlier when they heard the uh, fighting. That's strange that the uh, the raider isn't here. That's okay. Come on, we don't have to do this. Payback time, baby man. Executed. Ah, oh, the combat going. I see you. Wow. <laughs> Okay, we'll take our Grognak the Barbarian. Critical hits with unarmed and melee attacks. Permanently do another five. We'll take a bottle because we like glass. These are prisoners. Shit, I can't pick this lock. We'll have to come back here later. That's all right. We'll take a stim pack. We'll take a cap stash. We'll take the radius before game. Yeah, we'll take the screwdriver. And this, that all works. Good peeking, my friend. Ooh, left arm. Let's take a look at see what that is. It's probably ultimately not ultimately a net positive. It probably nice. boosts one and not another, but we'll still take a look at it anyway. We will take that pro snap camera. And now we're not going to exit because now we need to rescue our settler. Now that the area is clear, I didn't want to set the settler loose until I had actually cleared the building. Definitely wanted to take care of that. All right, so now that the place is clear, we'll also take a quick look at one of the funnier bears. We got a bear reading a paper here. <laughs> That's always a good time. Nope, we don't need to mess with that. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Hi. You're going to help me now, right? Yep. Don't worry. I'm here to rescue you. Oh my god. Thank you. Let's go. Yep. Now we get the hell out of here. And we're just going to fast travel to Oberlin Station. Ah, that's what it is. Grenade bouquet. I'm like, I remember there being an explosive. So is there a... Okay, right. This tripwire triggers the, the shotgun. This tripwire 
triggered the grenade bouquet, but we went a completely different way. Yeah, we didn't even go this way. <laughs> so I couldn't find the explosive and I'm like, yeah, I'd really rather not deal with it until I know why there's an explosion there. But I do remember dying there in our previous playthrough. So I couldn't remember why we were avoiding it, but we, that was definitely the spot to avoid for sure. Once we get master lock picking, we can then go back into Concord and uh, take care of that. So now we're going to go to the map, go to Oberlin Station, fast travel. That way we don't have to worry about a random super mutant patrol or any of the other incredibly dangerous things around Diamond City killing us. And we're not playing survival, so we don't have to. Cool. Dog meat found something, huh? Very nice. Excuse me. I don't know how to thank you for that rescue you pulled off. You're welcome. You should know. We've decided to join the Minutemen. Perfect. You can count on our help if you need it. Booyah! All right, so now we can use the workshop there. So we're going to need to talk to Garvey to cash that quest in. I don't remember what's in that refrigerator. Do I want to check that out? I don't know if I want to check that out. Uh, let's take a quick gander here. But now we need to level up Piper. And the best way to do it is to generally pick locks because she likes it when you pick locks. But she, there's a cooldown with that. You have to... You can't pick a lock more than once every five minutes. But she does like you when you pick locks. So I guess one of the things I'll need to do is to look around for maybe some locks we can pick a little more reliably. Plus, we could do the police station quest. It's not all that far. We may as well do that at some point. We're, we're going to do that next stream. Uh, we won't do that this stream. but um, But we will do that at some point. And we'll just stick to this area now that we have Piper. And now that we know Nick Valentine is our only lead in Diamond City, according to Mama Murphy. <laughs> uh, but I think we've got a couple of other ideas now at our disposal. We've got the Minutemen angle. We're going to try to do that. Our, uh, our first early on goals, as I work my way back up here, are, to, um, are twofold. Get Piper's Gift of Gab. But we also want to get in with the railroad and we want to level up our affinity with the railroad. Oh, God, that's a Yaogwai. That's a fucking Yaogwai. Don't see me, Mr. Bear. You just stay over there, buddy. Yeah, I really don't want to be fighting Yaogwais at this at this stage. Granted, I've got a 44 pistol that might be able to handle those. OK, and I don't want to get into a fight with these ghouls that are underneath that those Boom containers. <laughs> I mean, granted, I could go for the headshot on the Yao Guai. I could. <laughs> uh, but I think it... Yeah, yeah, yeah all right, fine. <laughs> let's, let's quick save. <laughs> let's find out. Let's find out if a headshot of these Yao Guai can actually take them out or not. Actually, let's deal with this ghoul here. There we go. That's a headshot. Stunted Yagwai. There's a ghoul under here. Good. Now he's dead now. Perfect. Good. Now we don't have to worry about getting attacked from behind. And we'll go up here and I guess we'll... Usually I have that sound alert for to reward a headshot. Not as, not, not as a suggestion of a course of action but you know what fuck it you're right let's try it what's the worst that happens our deathless run comes to an end come on yagwai turn around motherfucker Ooh, you know what we could do come here buddy there we go all right headshot it is of course, dog meat ran ahead. Come on. Stimpack dog meat. There we go. Piper liked that. Okay. 
We'll take the Yaogwai meat and the caps. Oh, and I guess uh, I'm now encumbered. Hey, Piper. Hey, what you got? Come here, carry some shit, Piper. Let's go with the weight. Oh, yeah, you're carrying the cement, the connecting rod. Yeah, you're carrying this shit. You're carrying all this heavy shit. For sure. All right, that'll, that'll do. Okay. Now let's look for the other Yaguai, since we're here anyway. Oh, we didn't even discover the location, but yeah, we may as well just do it. Here, there's another one. Let's find the other one. <laughs> there's the other one. All right. Hey, buddy, buddy, buddy. What's going on, buddy? There we go. Okay, we got it. <laughs> okay, so this gun is pretty cool. And uh, as far as I'm aware, it's the same uh, Desert Eagle from the previous game, uh, from a previous game. So it's uh, it's also a lore friendly Should version. This place? Now let's go over here. We'll get a little irradiated. Which isn't really that big a deal at this point, but yeah, let's get our frag grenade. Uh, now nah, I'm not gonna worry about the pipe pistol. Fuck that shit. Okay. They didn't have to worry about much back then, did they? No, no, they didn't. <laughs> All right, so we dealt with that. That wasn't my original plan, but fuck it. <laughs> I've kind of lost track of where I'm at. Let's check the map. Yep, we're going to the... Oh, okay. Yeah, we could just go directly north. Perfect. We just have to avoid any other surprises. Like those. Let's just avoid that roaming band of mutated two-headed deer. And once we get back to Sanctuary and uh, cash in our quest, at that point, we'll probably wrap stream up. That's a... That's a good a place as any to wrap it up. Wonder where that fight is. Wonder who's fighting what? Take a look. Oh god, it's super mutants. Fuck. Okay, well we don't want the house cats to end up in any trouble. I'm trying to think who's even getting attacked here. Oh, gunners. Playing nice only gets so but since they already wounded him, oh shit, now they're attacking us. Well, that sucks. Normally I wouldn't even try to go in after super mutants, but considering these assholes already dealt with it. Okay, we took care of them. That looked like a fucking gauze rifle. That can't be right, though. Get over here. Trying to see who's. And it keeps going to the house cat instead of the fucking gunners. That fucking thing. Damn it. Kill the fucking machine gun. Fortunately, it's doing as bad a job as hitting me as it is. Who the fuck are you? And what were you shooting me with? Sniper rifle, ah. You were shooting me with a fucking sniper rifle, you asshole. Well, I'll take that sniper rifle. I need a good long distance weapon anyway. All right, well, since we're here, let's loot. Loot the place! <laughs> Take this military grade circuit board. All right, we're not going all the way up there. Yeah, no, we already got it a little useful. Okay, nothing else useful. Nothing else useful. So yeah, that fucking happened. Although I missed the super mutants, I would have raided the I would have looted the super mutants if I seen their bodies. I don't know where the bodies dropped had to fight the gunners at that point i'm like all right well i could go looking for the super mutants but 
They probably just had 38 ammo on them. It's still like money, but not worth not worth actually tracking them down for. The XP for killing them was worth way more. Um, and that's what we got. I'm okay with that. Gunners sort of helped us out with that. And so, yeah, what I think we'll do here is we're going to cash in this quest and then um, and we'll wrap stream up. Maybe we'll we'll see if anybody's on and we'll raid them out. But um, I think next stream we'll set up Starlight Drive-In. We'll be maxing out Piper's Affinity. I think that'll be the plan here. Uh, and then do whatever any other quests are kind of just in the northwestern part of the Commonwealth that we can do pretty easily. Maybe see what we can do as far as uh, Minutemen uniforms. I think Trudy at Diamond City. Not Trudy at Diamond City. Uh, Trudy at Diamond City? But the lady in uh, Becky. We can go back and talk to Becky at Fallon's because I think she sells Minutemen uniforms and we can buy Minutemen uniforms from her. Although it would be good. Like I'm thinking in my head, you know, if we were really role playing out uh, our uh, our character Violet here, as uh, okay, we'll pick up some glowing fungus, but nothing else in this particular area respawned. Nope, nothing else did. Don't need to worry about that then. Um, but realistically, if you're setting, if you're establishing a uh, yeah, the problem is I was like at three different cells at that one moment, so the game had to load all of them. <laughs> The game, for the most part, loads one cell just fine on my standard hard drive. But when it's got multiple cells to uh, load, then it does more than just a quick hiccup and it and it does kind of lock jam it a little bit. But that's all right. I've got a solution for that. This is a temporary problem. We've got a we've got a much better solution for that. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll uh, we'll start really establishing the Minutemen with me as its general. And we'll have a we'll do a couple of things, things that I think we would be doing if we were really establishing an organization in this post-apocalyptic wasteland, such as uh, expanding our water reserves. Uh, let's store all the junk here. Hey, Piper! No, 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 Piper! Hey, Piper! Away. Nope. All give right. me, give me your stuff. Now we can't take all here because if we take all. It will take her trench coat, her hair, her weapon, everything. So unfortunately, we kind of have to do this manual. Well, if anyone could That's okay. We'll do that. Now, Preston, where are you, buddy? Preston. Preston. Oh. Fine. Fine. You're going to make me do this. Quests. Road to... Fr uh, truck. There we go. Kidnap. Where are you, buddy? Okay. You're over here. <laughs> We'll just activate the waypoint. I usually try. Oh, you were just slightly out of view. That's fine. Things are tough now, but they'll get better. I rescued that kidnapped settler. Stick. We've got another settlement Clear this on our out. side now. Good. Another win for the Minuteman. Keep it up, and pretty soon we'll have the whole Commonwealth behind us. If you've got time, something else has come up. We've gotten big enough that we're having trouble communicating with all our settlements. It's a good problem to have, and I have a solution. I think it's time to retake the castle. Wow, that's early. to be the Minuteman HQ, way before my time. Well fortified, centrally located, and most important, it has a powerful radio transmitter we can use to broadcast to the whole Commonwealth. <laughs> so what happened to this castle if it was so well fortified? This was long before I joined up, but the story I heard was that some kind of monster came out of the sea and destroyed the fort. A lot of the leaders were killed in that battle. And I guess nobody ever felt it was worth the risk to try to retake it. I've always wondered if losing the radio station was the beginning of all our later problems. So, should I have an assault force assembled near the castle? I'd love to say no, we're not ready yet, but yeah. Yeah, let's do this. We'll do some recon and meet you outside the castle. See you there. We'll have Garvey get ready over there. That's fine. We're not going to do the castle yet. We're not ready for that. We're not even remotely ready for that. But that's okay. Um, so yeah, this is a good point. This is a good place to stop. Uh, so we're going to save. This is. This is a good place to stop.
So let's quit and let's see who might be on to uh, to raid out to. Someone's got to be on. If not, we'll just we'll just end here. I really don't see anybody on. So yeah, let's just let's just wrap up here. I think that works out. Um, but everybody, I want to thank you for spending your Sunday night with me. It's been a blast as always. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to be streaming Tuesday night or Thursday night at this point, but it's going to be one of those two. And we're probably going to come back to Fallout 4 uh, as we kind of go along with things. And then we'll revisit Earthbound once again on Saturday during the day, kind of, you know, going along with that pattern. And I think that's uh, that's the best way to go about this. But I hope everybody has a fantastic week and I will see you guys all. Uh, well, yeah, ladies and gents. Uh, at some point approximately later. And until then, ciao!